You ain't seen me show me when I play my cow piano? No, Jeffy. But dang, I already got you a microphone. That's not a microphone, that's a razor. What's a razor? I use that to shave, Jeffy. Goddamn, bitch! You gotta push so big, you gotta break out the power tools? I got a song about that. We don't wanna hear a song, Jeffy. Turn off your cow piano and go to your room. Go. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush before it gets long and stinky. That's it, Jeffy. You are you are grounded. How am I grounded, Daddy? I'm just speaking straight facts. Look at the hair on this thing. At least we know that the carpet matches the drapes. Ew, Jeffy, put that out. Ow. Oh, there's someone at the door. Baby, just go, go wash his mouth out. Hello? Howdy, neighbor. Hucker dudes, what do you want? Well, I'm taking my wife on a date night to a fancy little restaurant called Outback Steakhouse. Ever heard of it? Really hard to get into. 45 minute wait with a reservation. Bloomin' onion to die for. Filet mignon melts in your mouth. I've been to Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I didn't know you could afford it. Father, why can't we go? Now, Timmy, what did you get on your report card? A B. A B? Well, I B positive you're not going to Outback Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Anyway, Marvin, I was seeing if you'd watch the tots for us. The last babysitter got fired for sleeping on the job. Now, Hank, tell him where she was caught sleeping. In bed with me. <laughs> that's right, you cheating bastard. Yeah, that's why I'm taking her to Outback Steakhouse. I gotta apologize somehow. Ah, it's not enough. Oh, come on, honey. I told you you could get two appetizers just as long as one of them's that bloom and onion. Well, here we have a list of huck do's and don'ts for you. Yeah, it's like an instruction manual for kids. Sometimes you just want to take the batteries out, huh, Marvin? <laughs> well, I'm really busy. Here you go! Yeah, phone number's on the back. See you later. Well, I didn't say yes. <sighs> Come inside, kids. Ugh. Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the Hucker Dudes. They want us to watch their kids. And you said yes? They didn't give me a choice. Come on, Daddy. You know Mommy wanted to spend some alone time with you. That's why she shaved her bush. So what are your names? Hello, ma'am. My name is Timmy. And I'm Susie. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What do you two do for fun? Well, we follow a very strict schedule. First, we practice our instruments. I play the violin. And I play piano. Then we have our vocal lessons. La, la, la. <laughs> Susie needs a few more lessons. Then we take a bath together to save on water. Then we go to bed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> I hate my life. Are you kids hungry? Well, we are. But our mother packed us some romaine lettuce to nibble on in case we do get hungry. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, you kids are not eating romaine lettuce for dinner. I'm going to get Chef Pee to make them something else. And I'm not going to follow your mom's stupid list because I've raised my own son and he turned out fine. I'm a shithead. All right, Jeffy, take them to your room while we cook dinner and show them your stuff. All right, guys, come to my room. I'm going to show you my shit. All right, guys, this is my playroom. That's my shit. Wow, you have so many toys. Our parents don't let us have toys. <laughs> Seriously, kill me. Do you guys want to see my mommy's favorite toy? Sure. sure. It's a dildo. What is a dildo? Well, she uses it to relieve stress and it smells like pickles. But I'm still confused. What is a dildo? Well, it's dough that smells like dill pickles. Here, play with it. Wow, thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> it's so squishy and slimy and ew, pickles. I want to try. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, here, Susie. Um, num, num, ew, it tastes like pickles. <laughs> wow, Jeffy, thanks for letting me and my little sister play with your mom's dildo. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, this looks so delicious. Ooh, I'm going to be a fat ass tonight. Hey, Chef PP, what are you cooking for dinner? My signature double donut double cheeseburger and double donut chicken sandwich. What? Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger in between two Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah, but I'm the first one to think of it. Isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah, but it's Unhealthy Wednesday. And on Unhealthy Wednesdays, we make bad decisions and eat bad food. All because my parents got a divorce on a Wednesday. You know, I'll never forget about it. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting two kids. Can you make two more of these donut double cheeseburgers? Oh, yeah, you got it. Let me get on it. Whoa, it's so stretchy. And long. All right, kids, it's time for dinner. Oh, hey, Mr. Marvin. We're having a blast playing with your wife's dildo. What? It tastes horrible, though. What, Daddy, what are they talking about? This, Daddy, it's dildo. What? Where'd you find this? I found it in Mommy's bedside table. It was right next to the big rubber dick. Well, well, Jeffy, don't play with this near the carpet. I don't want it to stain anything. All right, kids, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, kids, here's your dinner. Wow, this looks really unhealthy. And here's some ice cream to dip your burgers in. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of sugar in that drink. We're not allowed to have sugar. Oh, come on, Timmy. We already broke one rule today. We played with that lady's dildo. You're right, and it smelled like pickles. Ew. What the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to know.
Come on, kids, just eat your food. Are you sure we shouldn't just munch on this romaine lettuce our mother gave us? No, you need to eat some new food. Your parents are lame and they make you eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Sometimes it's good to eat unhealthy food. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, Daddy, where's mine? Uh, you got these green beans, Jeffy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They get the fun food and I get these green beans. Well, you want to know what I think about your green beans? No! Jeffy, you go to your room! Planned on it! I am so sorry about him doing that. Oh, it's all right. Our parents fight all the time. Now for me to try this food. Uh. Woo! Holy shit! Susie, you gotta try this stuff! It's like crap! I'm gonna try this monster energy drink! Do it, 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 do it! Holy shit, I did it! Sugar! Me too! You wanna run around and have some break stuff? Yeah! Woo! No, 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 don't run around and break stuff! Oh my god, what'd I do? Woo! Susie, look at all these plates! Let's do what Jeffy did! What are you kids doing? Hey, Susie, let's go play in the garbage can. Woo! I'm gonna call your parents. Ugh. Marvin, what's all that noise downstairs? The kids are running around the house and breaking things. What? I thought they were supposed to be nice. They're supposed to be. Well, what did you do? I just fed them dinner. What did you feed them? A donut double cheeseburger and a monster energy drink. Well, you should have fed them green beans like you tried to do me, you bald, ugly douche. Marvin, where's that list they gave you? We don't need the stupid list. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Marvin, right here it says don't drink soda and don't eat candy. Well, I didn't give them soda or candy. I gave them an energy drink and I gave them donuts. Marvin, that's well, look, they're already breaking like four of the rules because they've ran around the house and they've been breaking things. I'm jumping on the couch! I'm watching TV! Okay, now they've broken all the rules. What are we going to do? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I remember. They said they left the number on the back of the paper, so I'm going to call the dad. Okay, I got my phone. It's ringing. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Hank. Hey, listen, Hank, it's an emergency. You need to come back. How's it going? It's not going good. Your kids are running around the house and they're breaking things. Fantastic. No, it's not fantastic. They're breaking every single one of your hucker rules. Is that right? Yes, come back right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's not really me. It's my answering machine for Hank Hucker Dude. Please leave a message after the lawnmower. I got his voicemail. Uh, Marvin, there's a kid about to jump off the balcony. Hey, Susie, look, I'm a chicken. Watch me fly. <laughs> but chickens can't fly. This one can. One of Woo! Okay, I wrapped your broken leg in a paper towel because we don't have a cast. And we don't want to call a doctor because we don't want your parents knowing you broke your leg. Gee whiz, I can't believe I got that crazy over a little bit of sugar. I guess that's why it's a hucker don't. <laughs> My dad's going to kill me. Your dad's not going to kill you because he's not going to find out about this. Marvin, how are we going to hide a broken leg? Because when they get back, he's going to take the paper towel off his leg, he's going to hop over to his house, and he's going to act like he falls down the stairs, and that's how he breaks his leg. But that would be lying, and lying is a hucker don't. Well, you already broke all the other Hucker don't, so you're gonna do one more, or I'm gonna tell your parents about all the stuff you did. Yes, sir. So, Jeffy, rumpus time is over. You're gonna take these kids to your room, and you're not gonna let them leave, okay? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to my room again. And you stay in that room, and if you leave, I'm telling your parents. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, guys, you gotta stay in my room. My daddy said so. Woo! Can I break your cap piano? Sure, just don't break it. I'm gonna play Roblox on my computer, but first, I'm gonna watch this video. Wow, what are those two girls doing? They're naked and wrestling? Yeah, something like that. Is there a video of two guys doing that too? Is is that a thing? Can you look that up? Ah, oh! Oh, I'm so sorry, I broke your cat piano! You bitch! Oh, oh my god! You hit my sister with a baseball bat! What's wrong with you? You want some too? Why would you do that? Because she broke my shit! Oh my god, she's unconscious! Do you think she's dead? Hopefully! You murderer! Alright, everyone calm down, stop yelling. Here's the plan. When your parents get back, we're gonna put sunglasses on her, and we're gonna pretend she's still conscious, okay? Oh, like we can have Bernie's? Yeah, just like that. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna tell your parents that you guys broke all these rules. I still think we should tell the truth. Yeah, I agree, Marvin.
Uh, uh, they're here. You know what we're gonna do? My plan. Grab the sunglasses. Go. Hello. Howdy, Marvin. We're just getting back from the old Outback Steakhouse. How was it? Oh, it was delicious. The bloomin' onion was crispy. And guess who works there part time as a waitress? The babysitter. Yeah, I gave her a big tip. For the second time today. And then I gave her some cash. Again, for the second time today. Yeah. So, Marvin, how are the old kids? Uh, they're upstairs reading a book. Oh, what piece of literature? Uh. A math book. Oh, Susie does need to work on her math. Yeah, she does. But uh, we'll just grab our kids and be on our way home. Well, no, no, if you want them to stay the night for like a month, they can. Yeah, no can do. See, it's 8 one so it's past the bedtime. And also, we still got to do our family prayer, so we'll just grab the old tater tots and be on our way. Uh, okay. So your kids are in here, but meet my wife Rose. Oh, does your husband cheat on you too? Oh, honey, stop it. Why don't you fetch me a toothpick? I think I got some blooming onions stuck in my teeth. Why don't you have the waitress get it out with her tongue? You know, I think I might. Well, kids, it's time for you to go home, so go with your parents. Susie, why are you slouching? Oh, uh, Susie isn't slouching. She's, uh, practicing for a limbo competition. Oh, well, you know, your mother was a ten-time limbo champion. Yep, why do you think we got two kids? Your mother sure knows how to bend it over. Tell me, what'd you do today? Oh, we had a lot of fun. We got to play with Mr. Marvin's wife's dildo. Man, was it stinky. And slimy. Susie fit the whole thing in her mouth, but she spit it out because it tasted like pickles. <laughs> Come on, kids, we're getting out of here. We're going home. This house is sick, sick. What's wrong, Mother? It was just a dildo. Shut up. Get your ass home. We're going. Marvin, don't you ever speak to my family ever again. You don't understand. It wasn't a real dildo. It was like a silly putty. I don't care what type of sick thought you have. Just keep them away from me and my family. Hey, before you leave, your daughter has a concussion and your son has a broken leg. What? Roar! Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm in my lion costume, Daddy. A lion doesn't go... Well, this one does. Jeffy, look, take your costume off. It's not Halloween. No, Daddy, I just want you to put it on to make sure it was scary. Roar! No, it's not scary, Jeffy. Well, I bet if I ate someone's face off, it'd be scary. Jeffy! You're not Jeffrey Dahmer, you're a lion. Well, my name's Jeffy. Look, just, just, just go outside, Jeffy. All right, then. Whee! I'm playing at the playground with my pants on, no shoes, and my pants are down. This is a good game. Whee! Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a lion! Oh, no! I'm going to Jeffy's outside. Oh! <laughs> so I was thinking maybe I can give you a full body massage. Okay, Marvin. I see where this is going. See what it leads to. Oh, you're sick! You're sick! You're sick! <laughs> I got you, Marvin! That's disgusting! <laughs> you sick! No, the, the news is on. Let's watch the news. Breaking news, okay? A lion has escaped from the local zoo and attacked a child at a park. We have an exclusive interview with the child now. Let's go to that. So I was at the park with my favorite pencil that I always bring with me to the park, and then suddenly a lion attacked me and I stabbed him in the nose. Wow, truly terrifying. If you've seen this lion, please call 911 immediately. There's a $10,000 reward for anyone who finds it. Oh, I think there's a lion on the loose and Jeffy's outside! Okay, I'll go get him. Oh, thank God, Jeffy, there you are. You have to go inside right now. There's a lion on the loose. Don't you yell at me, Jeffy. Get inside. Jeffy, knock it off. Oh, good, Marvin. You found Jeffy. Yeah, but he won't stop acting like a lion. Wow, Jeffy, your words gotten really good. <laughs> Jeffy, just go to your room. Jeffy! What did he do, Marvin? He clawed open the couch. Jeffy, you're not a real lion. You can't do that. Yeah, Jeffy, go cut your fingernails. Oh, it's gonna cost so much money to fix the couch. All right, world, well, hear me roar. Roar! Hey, what's going on? Gotcha, you little bastard. Don't worry, everybody, I caught the lion. Where are you taking me? A talking lion? No, 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 I think I saw some of those brownies in my system. Come on, let's go put you down. Ooh, baby, yeah, ooh, I love the way that feels. Oh, I'm almost there. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, the tree, I'm eating my meat. Oh, leave me alone, let me breathe in peace. Oh, Cody, I know how to beat my meat by myself, okay? Leave me alone. I can use my mouth. Just, just get out of here! Get out of here, friend, you little brat! What happened to my meat? Who took my meat? Junior!
What's wrong, Chef Pee Pee? What did you guys do with my meat? Well, we didn't do anything with it. You wouldn't let me help. Look, I was beating my meat, then you guys came in there and bothered me, now it's gone! Well, I'm sorry for interrupting, but I can help you get it back up. Yeah, help me get it back! Alright, whip it out. But, no, 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 not that! I'm talking about a steak! Steak? What steak? Oh my god, god, Cody! What's wrong, Chef Pee Pee? Have you guys seen my meat? What? Seen your meat? Yes, it's big and floppy. I was just feeding it in the kitchen. What? I thought we haven't seen your meat. Come on now. Somebody seen it because somebody grabbed it. Now tell me who grabbed it. I didn't grab your meat. Did you grab it? No, I didn't grab your meat. I know you grabbed it. You look like you grabbed meat. Come on now. No, I did not grab your meat. Baby, you grabbed his meat. Marvin, I didn't grab his meat. Now I wouldn't blame you if you wanted a taste of it. What? What? No, we didn't taste it. Look, tell me who grabbed it and I'll give you a taste of it. I promise. Well, no, no, no. I'm going to call the cops. You're being perverted, Chef Pee Pee. What? Being perverted? I'm just talking about my steak. Wait, steak? Yes! Wait, wait, who cares it? What? No. Jeffy, you ain't Chef Pee steak or give it back. Get my meat out your mouth! What? <laughs> Get it up! Give it up, you're sorry, Chef Pee Pee. Yeah, that's my meat! Don't touch my meat no more! <laughs> Chef you know you're a grinder for taking Chef Pee meat. Come on! <laughs> Alright, Jeffy, lay down and go to sleep. It's past your bedtime anyway. Bah. Hey, you better calm down. You're lucky I'm not you wear your wine costume to bed. Bah. Go to sleep. Wah, wah, wah. So, Marvin, did you get Jeffy to bed? Yeah, but he was fighting it. So, we're alone again. Yeah. Do you want to give me another back massage? Oh, no, I'm not going to fight with that again, Miss Toot Columbo. Well, come on, Marvin. How about if I give you a back massage? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, lay down. Hey, Marvin, look up real quick. What? <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. The news is off. The news. Breaking news, okay? The lion that escaped from the zoo has been found. Since the animal attacked someone, he has been deemed too dangerous to keep alive. He is being euthanized by firing squad tomorrow on the Thank God they caught that lion before it hurt someone! Ugh, my eyes are so itchy! What's wrong, Marvin? My eyes are itchy! Oh my God, your eyes are pink! What, they're pink? Why would they be pink? I don't know, maybe you caught something! Call the doctor! Okay, I'm gonna call the doctor! <laughs> Hey there, somebody call a very happy doctor. Why are you so happy? Because I caught the lion. You lion! No, no I'm not. Hey, listen here, okay? It was on the news. There was proof. The city paid me to catch that lion, okay? I don't appreciate you calling me a liar because I caught the lion and it's gonna be executed tomorrow morning by firing squad on pay-per-view. Anyway, what'd you call me? Because my eyes are pink. Mm. Well, that could be caused by one of two things. Either you've been having some of those special brownies I make, or you got pink eye. What's pink eye? That's when you get shit in your eye. What? Yeah, you get some fecal particles in your eye and it makes them all red and itchy. What, fecal particles? Yeah, you know, doo-doo. What, what, how would doo-doo get in my eye? Well, I don't know. Uh, I guess sometimes when you're wiping your butt, you know, and your finger breaks through the toilet paper, you get some poo-poo on your finger, and then you rub your eye, and then, you know, you get pink Who would do that? You, apparently. Well, no, that's not what I did. What? Could, could it happen from someone farting in your face? Well, yeah, but why would that ever happen? What if your wife did it to you twice? What? Oh my god, did, did she do that? It was a prank! Yeah, she farted right in my face. No, no, no. Do you want to press charges? I would like to, yeah, because she farted right in my face. It was wet and sticky. If it I, was funny! If my wife did that to me, they would make a Netflix documentary about what I did. I would kill her. What, you, uh, listen, how do I fix the pink eye? Well, I could give you some, uh, some, you know, some antibiotic eye drops, but I don't have those on me, so you'd have to go to a pharmacy, like Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart Pharmacy, Kmart? Is that still a thing? No, I don't think they had pharmacies when they were around, so don't go there. Okay, so what do I do? Well, just don't let her fart on you again, but definitely get that looked at. Ugh, it's so itchy. I'm sorry. You gave me pink eye. I'm sorry! Alright, everyone, my meat is ready. Who wants to taste it? Ooh, I'll try it. Alright, baby, while you taste his meat, I'm gonna go ask Jeff if he's hungry, because he hasn't ate anything for dinner. Okay. Wow, wow! Jeffy, are you hungry? <laughs> Jeffy? Listen, there's a steak in there if you want to eat some. Okay, mister, for raising your voice at me, now you have to eat green beans. So come on, come on. Baby, I'm going to go feed Jeff Pee green beans because he talked back to me. How much Jeff Pee Pee's meat? Oh, it was really good. Nice and juicy. Wait, there's no bite taken out of the steak. <laughs> Chef Pee Pee strikes again! Oh, you Chef Pee Pee, why I oughta... Ugh, I'm going to go feed Jeffy green beans. <laughs> Jeffy, stop chewing on the table. <laughs> I got you a big old plate of green beans, so eat up. That is it, mister! You are so proud of Come on! Baby! I'm sorry, Marvin! It won't ever happen again! What? No, no, no! Jeffy threw his plate of green beans on the ground! Marvin, he always does that. Well, I'm sick of it, so you're grounded, Jeffy! And also, I found out that Jeffy has homework. Oh, well, why don't you help him with it, Marvin? Okay, Jeffy, I'll help you with your homework. All right. 
what is the estimate of 3.596 plus 2.4? Anyway, Jeffy, you're the one in school, not me. You're the one who has to do this homework. So do it. <laughs> Jeffy! Don't you run, bad, bad. Oh, oh, he bit my hand! He bit my hand! Let go of it, Let go! Oh, he bit my hand! Oh my god, Barbie, your hand looks horrible! You need to call the doctor! Jimmy, I might press charges on you now that you're 18, you might go to jail! Oh my god, my hand hurts so bad! I'm gonna call a doctor! Barbie, no! Hey, Liz, are we calling a doctor? My hand! We're not gonna raise your voice in me, sir, okay? We're gonna use our insane voices like adults! Now tell me what happened. My hand! Jesus Christ, look at your hand! What happened? Oh my god, has anybody seen his hand? Son did that? Yeah. Th that's not your son, that's a lion. He's just in a lion costume. Oh, huh. how about that? Wow, that is a really realistic lion costume. Where'd he get it? Spirit Halloween. No, he did not get that at Spirit Halloween. No, if you don't want to tell me, just say so. Listen, what are we gonna do about my head? Man, that's pretty torn up. You wanna press charges? Yeah, because he didn't even say he was sorry. Nah. That looks pretty bad. You might need stitches. Yeah, that's really bad. I didn't wash my hands after I wiped. You, I'm gonna get pink eye now. Well, don't mind that on me. Hey, you already have pink eye. What do you care? That's gross. Wait, wait, wait. I'm having another thought. Huh. That lion I caught was in your front yard. You lion! Bitch, I already told you that it was on the news. There's proof, okay? Well, well, no, what, 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 what were you talking about? What were you talking about? I... Damn it, I forgot. You, you were saying something. We're trying to remember. Backtrack. Okay, hold on. Steady fingers. You said there's a lion in my front yard. Yes, yes, the lion I caught was in your front yard, and he could talk. What, you he... lion! Hey, okay, I... Hold on, listen, you said... Okay, you said a lion could talk? Lions can't talk. Oh, this lion could talk? H hold on, make your lion talk. Jeffy, say hi. <laughs> say what's up. <laughs> he can't talk. Hmm, this lion can't talk, but the lion I caught said he wasn't a lion. So he was a lion? Huh. Maybe he was a lion. Maybe he really wasn't a lion. Maybe I caught your son. What? I mean, if I caught your son, then that means... Uh-oh! Ah! Ah! What do we do? I don't know, man. The only lion I ever caught was your son, and he came quietly. I don't want to die! Come on, think of something, think of something. Hmm. I have an idea. <laughs> that is so good, man. See why cats love it so much. Oh, Mark, Mark, look at the lion. <laughs> he, he's just lying around. <laughs> but he's not a lion. He's a hyena. <laughs> because he is suited out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> Man's is stuck. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. We gotta stop doing this to fix our problems. Wait, wait, I gotta go save Jeffy before he's executed by firing squad tomorrow morning, and I gotta take the lion with me. Hey, hey, wake up, buddy. Uh, he's not waking up. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Hey, Marvin, I saved Jeffy just in the nick of time, too. They were about to blow his head off. Yeah, I felt like I was in Call of Duty. Good, that's, that's good. Wait, you guys ain't cutting him without me? <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> Today was a wacky day. Oh, I'm good. I'm leaving. That was disgusting. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Ooh, I made this plane out of Legos. Whoa, that's so cool! Dude, you're like the Wright Brothers. That's so awesome. Can we fly it? Well, it's not going to fly, Junior. It's made of Legos. Well, but it's a plane. It can fly. No, Junior, it's made of Legos. It's too heavy to fly. Legos are too heavy to fly? Real planes are made out of metal. They, they can fly. Yeah, but those planes have engines. This doesn't have engines. It has two engines. Look at the back. There are two engines. Jenny, the engines are made of Legos. It's not going to fly. But it's a plane. It can fly. It even has a pilot. Well, he's not alive. Wait, he's in his seat. Look, he probably went to a lot of years of flight school. Jenny, yeah. Junior, it's all Legos. It's just toys. It's not going to really fly. Cody, it's a plane. It can fly. It has wings. Duh, stupid. Well, Junior, it's, it's, it's just made of Legos. It's not going to work. Well, let's go in the kitchen and see if it can fly. Come on. It's not going to work. All right, Cody. Are you ready to see your plane fly? It's not really going to fly. It has wings. Joseph has wings. He can fly. Mm -hmm. Well, these wings don't really work. You built it. You don't even know what it can do. All right. Watch it fly. Yeah. Look, Cody. It's flying. Junior, your mac and cheese is ready. Man, I love my new red jacket. I told you, 
told you to fly. Junior, you just threw it in the air. Anything will fly for a few seconds if you throw it up in the air. Junior, I can't believe you just got a stain on my new red jacket. You can throw it in the washing machine, Shark People, just calm down. Oh, I swear to God, this stain better come out, Junior. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Cody? It, it's you. Ew, Cody, you just sneezed all over my bib. Oh, dude, that's gross. Hey, Shark People, can you wash my bib, too? Oh, stop it, Junior. This stain out of my jacket! Hey, Chef Baby, can you wash my bib, too? Oh, sure, Junior. Thanks. Uh, all right, guys, what do you want to do now? Whoa, Junior, looking good. Nakey, nakey, eggs and bakey. Ew, Cody, don't look at me. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Cody, why can't you cover your nose when you sneeze? Junior, my arms aren't long enough to reach my nose. What, <laughs> loser? I can. Watch. I guess I can't either. Ha <laughs> ha, you guys are losers. Watch this. No, we can't reach our nose. I guess we have to wait for my bib to dry. Hope it doesn't dry too soon. Oh man, goodness me! Thank God that stain came out. This jacket cost me fifty dollars. Wait, is this Junior's bib? Oh my God, it's pink! <laughs> How girly! <laughs> That's what he deserves. <laughs> is it hot in here, Junior? Or is it just you? Dude, stop being weird. I can't wait for my bib to be clean. Junior, your bib clean. <laughs> Chef, baby, why is my bib pink? Maybe God thinks you should be a girl. Well, I don't want to be a girl. Well, I think it might be because you washed your white bib with Chef Baby's red jacket, so it turned pink. Well, I don't want to be pink. Chef Baby, fix it. I'm not going to fix it. I don't have to. Well, if you don't fix it, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to tell my dad. <laughs> Shit, baby! <laughs> Bowser, my son's a man! He's not gonna be caught wearing a sissy pink bear! You tell him, Dad! Well, it's not my fault! I washed my jacket and I get to stand his bed. Well, he's a man! He's not gonna wear that, so you better buy him another one! I'm not buying him another one! Dad, make him buy another one! Oh, don't worry about it, my precious, precious, princess! <laughs> Chef, baby, go get your locker and buy me another one. Why do I have to buy you another one? Because I'm a big boy. I'm the biggest man in the world. <laughs> All right, Junior. How much is this stupid bid? Five dollars? Ten dollars? More like eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars? Wait, why? It's Gucci. Wait, you don't wear Gucci? Yeah, I do. My dad got me a Gucci bib when I was born because he wanted me to be fly. Junior, you're not even worth eight hundred dollars. Yeah, Junior, eight hundred dollars for a bib is ridiculous. Chef Pee has to buy me a new bib just like my old one, and that's my old bib right there, so buy it, Chef Pee Junior, I can't afford an $800 bib. Doesn't my dad pay you? Yeah, but not $800. I'll probably make that in 10 years. Well, you better get a new job and buy me a new bib. Well, where am I supposed to work? Um, aren't you a chef? Can't you get a job at a restaurant? Yeah. What restaurants are hiring right now? Look, let's turn on the commercial channel where commercials are always going on, and you can see if there's a restaurant hiring. Mm-mm-mm. Doesn't that just look delicious? We have the meats! Nope, nope, that's all. It's, uh, hi, I'm Brooklyn Guy, founder and CEO of Burger Queen. If you're anything like me, you need food to survive. And that's what this is, food. So, if you're looking to survive and you need something to eat, come on down and get yourself something at Burger Queen. Also, we're hiring, so if you're looking for work and you can keep a secret, come on down and apply. Oh, Chef Baby, look! Burger Queen! Burger Queen? What kind of off-brand restaurant is that? Well, they need some employees, so go get hired. Junior, I'm not working there! Well, Chef Baby, if you don't buy me a new bib, I got them together to tell my dad. Junior, <gasps> okay, okay, okay. God! Go away. Welcome to Burger Queen. You have any questions before we get started? Yes, how is this different from Burger King? That is a great question. See, I came up with the original idea for Burger King back in college, but then my roommate overheard me talking about it. He trademarked it before I could. So, I had to make Burger Queen. Whoa, well, what kind of food do you sell? Well, it is a very complicated and secret recipe, so make sure you don't tell anyone. Alright, here's what we do. We get in the car, and we go to a Burger King, then we buy up all of their food, and then we bring it back 
here, and we tape the Burger Queen logo onto the wrapper and sell it for a dollar more. Wait, isn't that illegal? Oh, yeah. Just make sure you tape the Burger Queen logo on your boot so it doesn't come off so we don't get sued. I've already gotten two cease and desist letters, so we cannot get caught again. Well, what's my job? Your job is going to be to take these scissors and cut out the Burger Queen logo and tape it onto these Whoppers. But make sure you don't call them Whoppers. These are called Whippers. Why would anybody choose Burger Queen over Burger King? That's probably because of our slogan, which is, Why eat with a king when you can go down on a queen? Wait, wait, don't we show burgers? Yeah, it tastes the same. Oh, oh, there's somebody at the drive through window. Oh, okay, I'll say you don't cut out logos, you're gonna take their order. Oh, okay. Hey, welcome to Burger Queen, how may I take your order? I don't have a car, can I still order here? I mean, you're here, might as well order. Oh, well, how is this different from Burger King? The name? Oh, what, what kind of food do you have? Oh, we have everything Burger King has, just a dollar more. Really? That's a red bar. I know, right? So evil! evil for me. I'm just gonna go to Burger King and stay. Well, smart man. Goodbye. Okay, I'm done. Ooh, what do you order? I hope it was a Whopper because they're getting cold. He didn't order anything. Uh, I told him it was a dollar more than Burger King, so he won the Burger King. <laughs> Why did you tell him that? What did I do wrong? You're not supposed to tell him we're stealing food from Burger King. It's like you don't even know how copyright infringement works. I didn't tell him we were stealing food. Good. Don't tell him the price either. <laughs> we have somebody else at the drive through window. Just tell him we have two for four. Of what? I don't know. Just sell something. Uh, okay. Welcome to Burger King. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, welcome to Burger Queen. How many I think you order? Uh, it's just a drive through because I flew. So it's kind of like fly through because my cave is kind of like a car. What do you want? Oh, uh, wait. What is this place? Burger Queen. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Burger King. No, no. It's basically Burger King. Look, order whatever you want to order there. And we have it here. Look, we have a two for four. Two for four what? I don't know. Okay, well, I guess I'll just take two offers then. Okay, uh, two whoopers coming up! Okay, I need two whoopers! Two what? Oh, whoppers! Whoppers, right, sorry, I forgot the silly things we do here. Yeah, yeah, I get three of them right. Okay, and I told him two for four! Two for four? Yes, for four what? For four dollars? No, 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 we, we can't do that. I, I got these two for five in Burger King. I, I can't lose a dollar. Uh, tell him two for six, the price went up. But you told me two for four! Well, just tell him, tell him it's, 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 it's inflation. It's stock, stock market and NASDAQ. He, he, he won't understand, just tell him. Okay, look, I'm so sorry, sir, but I have to change the price. It's two for six. But you said it was two for four. I know, inflation and stock market and the new Xbox is coming out is knocking up the price. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right, that's fine. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. Okay, he said okay. He said okay? Yes. <laughs> what a chump. You know what? I'm going to give him three, but no, because then I'd still lose money. Oh, okay, how about this? How about we tell him three for ten? Yeah, yeah, no, three for twenty. Let's see how much we can milk this guy for. Oh, okay, then. Okay, sir, the new price is 3 for 20. But 3 for 20? I don't even want 3. Yeah, but the new PlayStation is coming out too, and the stock market is depending on that. The pre-orders are already sold out. You know. Okay, fine. Whatever, y'all take it. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 dude, he accepted it! What you did? Yes! <laughs> what an idiot! I know, right? Oh, should we try to get more? Oh, yes, let's try this bank account. Ooh, get, get, get his credit card and I'll write the numbers down. Oh, oh, what about his social security number? Take it, yeah! Oh, 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 oh high school mascot. Ooh, his first pants name. Yeah, yeah, get that. told you instead of six burgers, you can get three! I thought I was already getting three. But you can get three burgers for a penny! Well, how's that possible? All I need is your credit card, your date of birth, your social security number, and your pet's name, and your high school mascot! Hmm, uh, seems kind of fishy. Uh, nah. Okay, that nah was good enough for me. <laughs> Here you go! Ooh, platinum! Oh, God, I got it, I got it! We can buy whatever we want! Chef Pee you're fired! Wait, what? That was a test to see if you'd steal, and you failed. We may commit copyright infringement and steal from Burger King, but we never steal from our customers. But you told me to take his car! Yeah, and you should have said no. Stealing is wrong, because we do not hire criminals. Everything you're doing here is a crime! I know. What the You can get in the store! Oh my god! Where's my food? Alright, oh, 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 it's my weakness! Yeah, it's everybody's weakness! I wonder how Shepard's first day of Burger King went. I wish Jason. Oh my god, I hate the Burger Queen! Oh, Shepard, did you make $800 to buy me a new bill? Oh god, no! I got fired, I think. And then he gave me the store. I don't even know what I was supposed to do with that. You could sell it, it's money. Oh, but I think it's illegal. There's someone at the door. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll get it. Hello? Hey there, it's me again. Uh, listen, I realized it was pretty irresponsible of me to just leave you there in the store. Yeah. Yeah, because you could tell the cops what I was doing. So, I figured I'd let you buy one thing with the stolen credit card if you 
promise to never tell Burger King what I was doing. Were they really quite serious? Yeah, just one thing though, that I need the card back because I gotta buy some stuff too. Okay. <laughs> wow, Chef Bibi, thank you for the new Gucci bib. Yeah, whatever, but you better not get this one back. Okay, I won't. All right, I'm gonna give this card back to the Burger Queen guy. Okay, here's your card back. Chef PB, you're under arrest. Why? That was also a test to see if you'd steal. You were supposed to say no. Stealing is wrong. But you gave me the card. Well, if I gave you the keys to a car that was gonna explode, would you still get in it? No. Exactly, because stealing is wrong. So give me the card back. Jeez. Sucker! Cody, check out my new Gucci bib. I like you better with it on. Oh, man. Oh, what's up, guys? I was in the bathroom. Talk about a stomach ache. Pee you. <laughs> so, guys, what do you want to do now? Well, I did make another Lego airplane. Whoa, can we fly it? Dude, this one's not going to fly either. Well, the first one flew. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. It flew. It landed on the macaroni and cheese runway. Dude. Let's go fly it. <laughs> All right, Cody, you ready to see it fly? It's not going to fly, Junior. You're just going to break it. Yo, Mario, if I go to King with these guys, you gotta pay me a hundred dollars, okay? What? No! Pay up! What? No, Black Yoshi, I didn't agree to pay you a hundred dollars! But I rolled the 10! Yeah, but I, I didn't agree to pay you a hundred dollars! What do you mean a hundred dollars for anyway? Cause I'm so hungry! I need some chicken! You don't need a hundred dollars for chicken, Black Yoshi! Well, I need it for the whole week! Black Yoshi, why don't you go get a job or something? Mario, you know I can't work because of my disabilities! What kind of disabilities do you have? Man, it's the white man trying to bring your brother down. That's not a disability, Black Yoshi. Look, how about you dig in the garbage can for chicken or something? How about you dig in the garbage? What am I, homeless? Oh, here I go. Can it be homeless and dig in the garbage for some chicken? Yes, I can't believe Mario's going to make me dig through the trash looking for chicken like I'm some kind of homeless man. Is there any chicken in here? No. Oh, what about in his bag? Oh, that's not like booty, but you know your boy eating it too. <laughs> What's this? Leftover chicken? It must be my lucky day. You know your boy gonna be eating good tonight. <laughs> Got that chicken boy. <laughs> Mario, look who found some chicken since you wanna be all cheap. Ew, Black Yoshi, where'd you find this chicken at? Next to the trash can. Ew, it's all green and gross. Yeah, it's my leprechaun chicken. It's lucky. Black Yoshi, it's not leprechaun chicken. It's not lucky. It's green because it's all moldy. And gross. You can't eat this. You're gonna get sick. All right, what are you gonna give me a hundred dollars to buy a new chicken? No. All right, what did I'ma eat this? Oh, Black Yoshi, I, I can't watch you eat this. I'm gonna get sick if I see you eat that. Well, Mar, you just don't want me to be happy and have my chicken, so I'ma eat this right now. <laughs> oh, oh man, that was some good chicken. It tastes kind of weird though, but that's all right. Ew, Black Yoshi, you actually ate that chicken? Yeah, man, cause you wouldn't buy me anything else. Black Yoshi, you're gonna get sick. Mario, I'm not gonna get sick. Oh, Mario, I feel so good. Exactly, Black Yoshi, because you ate moldy chicken. Oh, I think I'm going to throw up. Black Yoshi? Black Yoshi? Black Yoshi, stop playing. I know you're just playing around. Black Yoshi? Black Yoshi? It's about money, right? You just want money. Look, here's that hundred dollars you wanted. You just get up. Black Yoshi? He's not taking the money. He might really be sick. I have to call a doctor. I have to call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, I did, doctor. I need your help. My friend ate this moldy green chicken that he found by the garbage can, and then he started feeling really sick and saying he was going to throw up, and then he passed out, and now he's not waking up. So, do you know what to do? Uh, what? What, 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 what were you saying? I, what? Did you, did you see a hundred dollar bill that was on the couch? I, I, I wish I saw a hundred dollars on your couch. No. Anyway. My friend ate this moldy green chicken that he found in the garbage can, and now he's feeling really sick. Yeah, he probably shouldn't have eaten that moldy green chicken. Yeah, so look, now he's not waking up, so like, can you like check for his pulse? To, to check for his pulse? Me? Uh, uh yeah. D yeah, sure, I, I, I can do that. Oh, ow, ow, he's, he's really hot, I burned my hand. What? Uh, yeah. He's not hot. Okay, fine, you got me. I don't know how to check for a pulse, and I was just making up an excuse. Okay, I'll check for it. He doesn't have a pulse! Wait, how did you do that? Show me so I can do it next time. What? No, no, he doesn't have a pulse! He's not alive! Do, do CPR! CPR? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, sure. He, he's just so hot, though. 
You don't know how to do CPR, do you? I do not. Oh my god! Do you know how to do anything? I mean, I'm here, aren't I? I just... Oh, oh, Yoshi! He's waking up! Oh, good, good! My work here is done! I saved him! What? what? Look, Yoshi, are you okay? Mario, I just can't feel so good! Oh, okay, oh, okay, look, 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 this is what we're gonna do. We ate some really bad chicken, so let's go buy you some new chicken. Look, let's make some homemade chicken, okay? Let's make you feel good, okay? Bye, Mario. Let's go. All right, Rock Yoshi, we're gonna make you some homemade chicken to make you feel better. Oh, Mario, I feel so sick! I need the chicken right now! Well, Black Yoshi, it's gonna take about 30 minutes to cook, so unless you know a faster way to cook it, we have to wait. But I want it right now! <laughs> Black Yoshi, oh, there's something wrong with you. We have to call a doctor. Hey, they call a doctor again? Yes, I did. See, my friend ate that green chicken. He started acting really weird, and then he shot lasers out of his eyes, and then he cooked the chicken, and... Are you looking for something? Did you stop putting money here on your couch? What? What do you want? Oh, oh, oh look, my friend, you know, he ate that weird green chicken stuff, and then he cooked this chicken with his eyes. Well, I told you he was hot. Oh, no, 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 no. He shot lasers out of his eyes. Okay, I want some of whatever you're on. Oh, no, 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 he, he really did. Black Yoshi, show the lasers out of your eyes. I... Whoa! Wow! Okay, that's awesome! Yeah, yeah, he can shoot lasers out of his eyes, so how do you fix that? Fix it? Forget that! I'm gonna go eat out of the trash until I get superpowers too! What? Oh, Yoshi, I think you might have superpowers, so so you, you can shoot lasers out of your eyes, and maybe you have super speed! Okay, well, let me see that! I'm gonna go see if I can steal a PlayStation 4 from Best Buy! Whoa, Black Yoshi, it worked? Yeah, Mario, I ran super fast. They didn't even see me. I ran like I stole something. Whoa, Black Yoshi, that's so cool that you have super speed. Okay, well, now that you've proved that you got powers, take the PlayStation back to the store. No! Well, Black Yoshi, you, you gotta use your powers for good, not evil. This ain't a Powerpuff Girls. Well, Black Yoshi, look, you've been gifted with amazing powers. You need to use them for good, not evil. Says the man who wouldn't give me money for food, he told me to go eat out the trash. Oh, uh, Black Yoshi, look, 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 let's turn on the news and see what good you can do for the world. Breaking news, okay, there's a purse snatcher going around snatching women's purses. But it's 2020, so he's snatching men's purses as well. Police are having a difficult time stopping him, so is there anyone out there that can help us stop this purse snatching menace? Oh look, Black you look, there's a purse snatcher, you can go stop him. What's a purse mouth for? Black it's a purse snatcher, there's a guy running around stealing women's purses. You can go stop him and be a hero. Well, why would I do that? Because it's the right thing to do, Black you have the power to stop him, so go stop the purse snatcher. <sighs> Fine, folk. La 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 I did it! I stole another purse! Not if I ain't got nothing to say about it. Oh, man, man. What, what happened to my purse? Alright, oh, man, I got the purse. Well, you stole a purse? No, I took the purse from the purse snatcher. Okay, good. Now go give the purse back to the woman it belongs to. No! Why not? Because there's money in here. Yeah, there's money in there, but it belongs to the woman. Yeah, but finders keepers. No, no finders keepers. The money belongs to the woman. You need to use your powers for good. But Mario, she ain't gonna get the purse back neither way. Well, but Black Yoshi, go give the purse back to the woman. No! <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Someone has snatched a purse from the purse snatcher. So now we have a purse snatcher snatcher. And I have an exclusive interview with the purse snatcher. Goodman? <laughs> Thanks, Goodman. I'm here with the purse snatcher, who got the purse that he snatched snatched. So tell me, purse snatcher, what happened? Well, I snatched woman's purse, like I do, and then Batman came and snatched purse from me. I purse snatcher, he Batman, why he snatched purse? Get different job, stay in lane. Wow, well you heard it here first, folks. Batman is the purse snatcher snatcher. Look, Black Yoshi, they think you're Batman, they think you stole that purse. Well, they should call me Black Man, because I'm stealing all the purses. Black Yoshi, where'd all these purses come from? I stole them. Well, oh, give them back. I will, once I'm done getting all the money out of them. No, Black Yoshi, you're supposed to use your powers for good, not evil. Well, I gotta pay the bills. What bills do you have to pay? I gotta buy me some KFC, and I gotta buy me some Kool-Aid. Black Yoshi, those are not bills. Look, put all this money back in the purse and give them back. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to give him back. I'll give him back when the money's gone. Black Yoshi, they're gonna catch you. Marty, they ain't not gonna catch me because I be running so fast. <laughs> Oh, 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 hold on, Black Yoshi, let me see who that is. Uh, hello? Hey there, I'm off doctor duty and I'm on cop duty now. Well, why are you here as a cop? Well, it seems like your friend Black Yoshi stole a bunch of stuff. Well, what, what's he been stealing, purses? What? I mean, I mean, what's he been stealing? Well, he stole the PlayStation 4 from Best Buy. Well, he didn't steal a PlayStation 4 from Best Buy. Well, I'm gonna come in so I can show you that he did. What? So what I wanted to show you is that we have surveillance footage of Black Yoshi stealing the PlayStation 4. 
And there's the PlayStation he stole right there, so I don't even have to show you the footage. Well, like, he didn't steal this PlayStation 4. We've had this one for a long time. We, we just leave it on the couch because we like to look at it. And you don't have footage of him stealing it because he runs really fast. I have the footage right here. We had to slow it way down so we could see him, but he's there. Just take a look. He was running really fast, like the speed of light, so we had to slow the footage down like a thousand times. And you can see him right... There. You see him? He's running away with the PlayStation 4 without paying for it. Oh, come on. That doesn't prove he stole it. He could have bought it. Where's the receipt then? Uh, Block Yoshi, where's the receipt for the PlayStation 4? I ain't got one because I stole it. And there you go. And now that I'm actually paying attention, I see a whole bunch of purses and him stealing the money out of those purses. Oh, uh, he didn't steal the purses. He saved the purses. He was going to return them. After he takes all the money out of them. Well, he has to charge a fee because superheroes have to eat. Okay, Black Yoshi's under arrest. Uh, you ain't gonna be catch me. You're right, you, you can't catch him. He runs too fast. You're not gonna be able to catch him. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of plan. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, are you gonna say actual words? Or are you just gonna go in my ear? Okay, fine. Okay, you're gonna tie his shoelaces together so that when he tries to run away, he trips. Okay, well, how are we gonna tie his shoelaces together? Oh, hold on. Hey, Black Yoshi, your shoelaces are untied. No, they not. Yes, they are. No, they not. Ugh, I thought it was a Jedi. Uh, hey, Black Yoshi, have you seen the cool new way kids are tying their shoes these days? No. It's really hip and gangster. Let me show you. Hi. All right, Black Yoshi, check that out. Oh, I guess they look kind of cool. All right, Black Yoshi, you're under arrest. You're never going to kiss me. Ugh, 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 ugh. Man, watch it out. You can't run away now. We got you. Yeah, we got you. Get <laughs> his shoot lasers. Run! I forgot to get shoot lasers. What are we gonna do? Uh, we need something to reflect the lasers back at him. What, what could do that? Uh, oh, I have an idea. Follow me. Oh, oh. Man, how you want tidy? All right, Mario, stay behind me. Hey, Black Yoshi, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, are you gonna take him to jail now? No, I'm gonna give him something much worse than jail. I'm gonna give him a spanking. A spanking? You heard me. A spanking. Now get him ready. O okay. Okay, he's ready. Bam. All right, just get him warmed up. Uh, well, why are you not taking him to jail? He's been to jail plenty of times. He never learns anything. All he needs is a good old-fashioned pop on the bottom. That'll teach him. Okay. All right, now show me that rump. Yeah, it's good. Bam! <laughs> that was a good one. All right. All right. Okay, how, how many of these are you gonna do? Um, well, how old is he? 25. Oof, we'll be here all day. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, I'm stopping, yo. Let me at him. Give me that butt. Go, go, go. Give me his butt. Come on, let me smack him. Just let me smack him one more time. No. Oh, Mario, what happened, man? Why am I hurt? And why am I bothered? Because, Black Gears, you got punished for stealing all this stuff. Oh, well, I can't move, folks. Can you untie my shoes? I'll untie your shoes after I return all the stuff you stole. Well, you better not return that stuff. That's my stuff. I'm going to shoot you with my lasers. Ugh. Uh, uh, what happened to my lasers? You must have lost your powers, Black Gears, which is a good thing. So, look, I'll untie your shoes after I return the PlayStation and all the purses you stole. No, Mario, that's my stuff, man. You can't take that from me. That's my stuff. That's my money. What am I Hey Marvin, you know how I said I would cook you dinner tonight? Yeah, what'd you cook me? I made you pizza rolls! I thought you said you were going to cook me dinner. I did, Marvin. It was so easy. I put them in the microwave for 30 seconds, and when they were done, the microwave went beep! It's so cool! Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I'm gonna go make some more! <sighs> Let me try them. It's still frozen. <laughs> See, I really need some money, but I don't want to get a job. I just want to sit back and collect cash. My bitch, did you hear me? I said I need $500, and I don't want to get the job. Oh, so you just don't sit there and ignore me. Well, then forget you, my bitch. <laughs> you saved my life. I did? Yeah, I was choking on a pizza roll, and you did the high lick maneuver. I didn't lick your honey. Well, no, no, you stopped me from choking. Dougie, what can I do to repay you? Oh, you can give me a million bajillion dollars. I don't have that kind of money, Dougie. Oh, I'm going to give me five. I don't even have a $500, Dougie. Is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, so I sat there and I recognized that you was choking. I said, oh no, my bitch is choking. My best friend, I got to save his life. 
So I went over there and I licked your honey And you can't even give me $500 for saving your life I don't have that kind of money Is there anything else, like, is there anything else you want that I can do for you? Well, I do want some fried chicken Cheetos You want some fried chicken and Cheetos? No, there's this new special edition Cheeto that tastes like fried chicken And I hope it works Can I go to the store and buy it? Yeah Okay, see, that's easy, I can do that for you Thank you for saving my life I'm, I'm gonna go grab it right now Thank you, mommy Okay, Ducky, I got you regular and flaming hot Cheetos. Where's the fried chicken Cheetos at? I couldn't find those. All right, well, next time you choke it to death, you won't be able to find me. Well, no, look, Ducky, I got you two bags of Cheetos. Oh, so you think your life's only worth two bags of Cheetos? You think my life's only worth one bag of fried chicken Cheetos? Yeah, because I've never tried them before, and I really, really want to try them. Are you sure they even exist? I looked up and down the aisle. I could not find them. Yeah, my bitch, look. Hey, why you? What? What kind of language is that? Curse you. That, that's not curse, that, that's another language. It's like Arabic or like Chinese or something. Well, listen, I really want to try the fried chicken Cheetos because I bet they taste so really good. Well, I don't even know if those are real. Look, how about this? There's a number on the back of the Cheetos bag. Call that number and let's ask if they exist. Okay, hopefully I get to talk to Chester Cheeto. Just call this number. Okay, Mom, it's, it's making some type of ringing sound like it. That's what a phone does, Ducky. Hey, yo, thank you for calling Cheetos Corporate. I hope you're having a dangerously cheesy day. Anyway, what can I do for you? Can I speak to Chester Cheeto? Ooh, he's in his office right now. Sorry. What the? Give me the phone, Ducky. Hello? Hi. Listen, we just want to know where we can get the fried chicken Cheetos at. How do you know about those? You, you know what? Let me call you on my shelf. He just hung up on me. It's ringing again. Hold on. Hello? Hey, I went to my car. I would get executed if they heard me talking about this. It's top secret. So, the fried chicken Cheetos were made in Thailand, but it was a mistake. The company tried to destroy all the bags of them, so there's only a few left. And I know who has them, but it ain't cheap. And he's weird, man. Like, sometimes, I send him pictures of my feet. Okay, so, can I get some fried chicken Cheetos? Can't talk! I just tracked your address on my laptop. I'll send them your way. Hello? So am I gonna get the fried chicken Cheetos or not? I, I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what, Dougie? I'm gonna go answer the door. If you hear me scream, call the cops. Hi, uh, Paul. Uh, hello? Hello, I am the Prince of Dubai. My name is Prince Abu Dhabi. But you can just call me friend. And this is my camel, Camille Habib Abo. Camille is in Campo, Habib Abo is in Corn on the Cup. You know you don't have to say that every single time I say your name. Well, then you don't have to ride on my back. You have to feed it, what? You are a camel, it is your job. It is not my job to carry you, it is my job to carry water in my home, not your lazy ass. You do this every time and embarrass me in front of my friends. <coughs> don't you hit me, I'll hit you back with my hoof. <coughs> Okay, 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 calm, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. What, what is going on? My friend Jonathan, who has very sexy feet, by the way, he tells me you're looking for something that I maybe have. Eh? Do you have fried chicken Cheetos? I do. I store them in Camille's up. Well, can I possibly buy them? Hey, let's go upstairs and talk business, baby. Oh, okay. I told Camille to wait outside so he's not blabbering the whole time. So. You want these fried chicken Cheetos, huh? You like this shit, huh? Oh, my man, fuck, you got the Cheetos! Hey, I know, those are exactly what we need. How much can I pay you for them? Oh, see, I don't accept money because I am very rich. I'm a billionaire. Yeah, I do like to trade. You like to trade? Well, I can trade you two bags of Cheetos for your one bag. See, I own the gas station you bought those Cheetos at because I like to sell oil and stuff, so no. Okay, I can trade you these pizza rolls. I don't like pizza rolls, so no. I don't really know what else I can trade you for. Ivan, the microwave's not working. I pressed the popcorn button and no popcorn came out. Well, did you put popcorn in the microwave? No, I put the pizza rolls in. That is the prettiest man I have ever seen. What? That's not a man, that's a woman. There's no way. Women aren't allowed to show their face or their feet. And those are the sexiest feet I have ever seen. Well, this is America. Women can show off whatever they want. Okay, I would trade you one bag Cheetos for your whore. What? No! No, she's not a whore. She's my wife. Okay, okay. How about... Two bags of Cheetos for your whore. I am not selling my wife for two bags of Cheetos. Thank you, Marvin. How about two bags of Cheetos and one hundred million dollars? Well, uh, yes, I will. Yes. What no, Marvin? Well, it's a hundred million dollars, baby. Okay, come on, whore. Let's go. What no? 
But your owner sold it to me. Owner? L listen, listen, in America, we don't own people. Listen, you can't buy her for $100 million, no matter how much money you offer me. Oh, come on, she'll have her own litter box at my house. See, in my country, women have the same rights as house cats. Plus, she'll be the prettiest of my 12 wives. You have 12 wives? Oh, yeah. Okay, listen, what other things could you want besides my wife? Well, I guess I could go for some slobbing on the knobby. Oh, come on, baby, I won't even count as cheating. For $100 million, you can slob on his knob and we get $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. No, Marvin! No, 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 no. See, I want you to do it, my friend, because you know how to make it feel good, and I want your mustache to tickle my tank. Come on, Marvin, $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. Ugh. Oh. Okay, for a hundred million dollars, I'll do it. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I never said about the hundred million dollars for the knob slobbing. Only the two bags of Cheetos, my friend. Okay, I'm not sucking knob for Cheetos. You can forget it, buddy. Listen, uh, is there anything else you want? Like, like, you can't get my wife, you can't get knob. Listen, what else do you want? Well, there is one thing, but it's impossible. What is it? I want Chester Cheeto to be my pet tiger. He's a cheetah. Yeah, same thing. Okay, I don't even think Chester Cheeto's real. I think he's just the mascot. Well, that's your issue to figure out. Okay, there's one person I think I can call to make this happen. Just stay right here. Just don't leave. Just... Oh. Okay, I'm calling the Cheetos corporate number. Please answer. Hello. Thank you for calling Cheetos corporate. I hope you're keeping it dangerously cheesy. Hey, it's me again. Oh, hey. Is my friend come over? Yeah, your friend came over, but he's not accepting money. He wants me to trade him something. Ooh, he asked you to slob on his knob, didn't he? <laughs> Classic Abu Dhabi. Yeah, listen, he wants me to bring him Chester Cheeto. Ooh. Well, for you, I guess I can give you his address, but I warn you, he's in really rough shape. Yeah, please just text me the address. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Now that's what I call dangerously cheesy. Hey. Huh? Who are you? How'd you know where to find me? Listen, Chester, I got a friend that really wants to meet you. You the cops? No. Hit that shit, man. Uh, no, thank you. I've already had a lot of Cheetos today. Oh, hell yeah. More for me. Uh, feels like my heart's about to explode from all the cheesiness. Just, just one more. Uh, I'm king of the world. Listen, Chester, I have a friend that really, really wants to meet you. Oh, yeah, he got Cheetos. Oh, yeah, he does. Hell yeah, man. He even got, you know, fried chicken flavored Cheetos. What did you just say? He has fried chicken flavored Cheeto. The damn Cheeto company tried to take them all away from me. Tried to destroy every bag because they were so damn good. Man, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheeto. Well, he definitely got the Cheeto and the knob. Well, take me to him. You're going to have to hold my hand, though, because I'm blind. You're blind? Yeah, what do you think I wear these glasses for? I thought you wore them because you were cool. Nah, I'm blind as shit, man. Okay, come on. Okay, friend, here's Chester Cheeto. Oh, my God, you got me Chester Cheeto. What's going on, party people? Listen, Mr. Chester Cheeto, I have been your biggest fan for very many times, and I would love it for you to be my kitty cat. Sure, man. I don't give a shit. Promise there's those fat chicken Cheetos for me. Well, the problem is I promised my last two bags to these people. Ah, uh, no deal then, man. But I'll tell you what, I would slob on some knob nah, for some fried chicken Cheetos. Deal, 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 deal. Screw these people and I hope their mothers get banged by very many men. Bye. What the, what the hell was that, Marvin? Do I not get the Cheetos? I guess not. Listen, I felt very bad about saying your mother should get banged by very, very, very many men. So I decided to bring you fun, fried chicken Cheeto. But don't tell Jester. Well, Dougie, it looks like you get to try what the fried chicken Cheeto tastes like. Oh, I've waited so long for this. I finally get to try the fried chicken Cheeto. Yeah, it tastes like shit. I'd rather have a five hundred dollars. Can I have $50 so I can give me some chicken from the KFC? KFC does not cost $50, Dougie. It does when you buy lots of it. Why do you eat a lot of it? Because it's so really good. Well, I don't have $50, Dougie. I'm trying to watch TV, so go away. Whopper, 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 Whopper. Mickey D's is definitely better, but they're paying me to make this song at BK.
Cause there is no way you're actually eating here! Man, that commercial really made me want to go get some McDonald's. What if you go into McDonald's? Can you go through KFC and give me the family sized chicken with the business and a macaroni and cheese? No, Dougie, how about you get a job and make your own money? Well, I can't get a job because I'm a felon! How'd you become a felon? Well, there was this one time I had a job working at a cash register and a man just said that the security cameras ain't work. So I stole a thousand dollars out the register. And come to find out, the security cameras did work and they caught me red hand dips. And, and when they was arresting me, I said, I thought you guys said that the security cameras ain't work. And the man just said, it was a trap. So now no one will hire me. Well, Dougie, it sounds like it's your problem. Well, I just want some KFC. I wish there was a way I could get free KFC for ebbers and ebbers and ebbers. Well, I don't see that happening, Dougie. Breaking news! KFC is offering free chicken for life to anyone who can make them a new theme song that includes their new five-piece chicken meal for $4.99. You gotta be kidding me. You see that, Mom Ips? I prayed to God and he answered. That's how I'm gonna get my free chicken for life. But Dougie, you don't know how to make music. Yes, I do. All I got to do is write a kitchen jingle about how I love chicken so really good. But Dougie, you don't know how to make a song. Yes, I do. I just need a piece of pie bips and a pims. I'm gonna go grab it. All right, my bips, I'm gonna start writing the lyrics to my song. I like chicken so good. How you spell chicken? See, you don't even know how to write, Dougie. Oh, so you're saying I should freestyle it. Good idea, my bips. I'm gonna get the microphone. All right, my bips, I got everything set up so I can record now. Well, can you record in another room? I'm trying to watch TV. No, I want to do it in here so you can tell me if it's good or not. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna start some program. KFC is really, really good. KFC is really good. KFC is really, really good. KFC is really good. KFC, I love that chicken. It's so grease my finger licking. Breast in a thigh ain't talking about chicken. Back on top of cause now I'm sipping. Slap my chicken, I stay pimping. Barbecue sauce, I'm straight dipping. Go chain on cause I be dripping. Full cup of soda that Pepsi, I'm sipping. Tennis and breast don't forget my size. If you got money, come along for the ride. Chicken is good, so hard to find. If you can't taste it, then your tongue is blind. So I said, Mrs. Better be in the bag. Or I'll turn around so fast, no lag. Crazy for the cock, but I ain't no fat. Hey, where'd the beat go? Oh, there it is. It came back. Unlike my daddy. Anyway, KFC, five piece, four ninety nine. Go buy it, cause it really, really, so really good. What are you thinking about now, Mom Bips? I don't think KFC is gonna want you to rob about those inappropriate things. Well, I'm a submipsy. All right, I just sent it to the KFC emails. What? Who's that? Well, hold on, let me answer the door, Dougie. Hello? Hey, uh, is Dougie here? Who? Uh, oh, your boy Dougie? Yeah, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, well, uh, I'm here from KFC Corporate. I'm here because I heard that dope-ass song he made. Uh, yeah, yeah, that shit was straight gas. Uh, uh, uh the fossil fuels. Who, who let him cook? My, my compliments to the chef. Uh, I'm trying to say I liked his song. Oh, did he win the competition? Well, no, but I, I do want to talk to him. Oh, he's upstairs. Okay, so can I talk? Oh, all right, um... Hey, Dougie, this guy from KFC is here to talk to you. Oh, did I win the competitions? Well, not quite, but I can tell you your song was one of the dankest. Well, what's I'm supposed to do to win? Well, you see, this other guy submitted a song that might even be danker than yours. No way. Unfortunately, yes way, and I'm afraid he might actually win. Why do you care if he wins? Well, I was really hoping we could rig the competition so Dougie could win. Why would you want Dougie to win the competition? So he can split his free fried chicken with me. I love KFC chicken. You work for KFC. Don't you get free chicken? No, they don't actually let us eat the chicken. None of us since this one guy stole a bunch of money out of the cash register. Hey, wait a minute! I'm so sorry! Now you definitely owe me chicken! Well, do we even have to rig the competition? Like, is the other guy's song even good? Is it good? Is the movie 80 for Brady good? No, it's fucking atrocious. Just stick to football, Tom. But, but yeah, the other guy's song's pretty good. He even has a music video. Well, then let's watch it! But 80 for Brady? No, thank you. I've seen it once and that was enough. No, no, I meant the music video. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. Let me get my phone. Alright, check this out. Okay, John, what do you want me to do? What is this? This is me doing a cinnamon challenge a couple years ago. All you have to do is eat a spoonful of cinnamon and put it in your mouth. Well, I do like cinnamon, but John, I gotta go find fires and figure out why I look like this. Oh, what's wrong with you guys? You shit it! No? What? Okay, fine, I'll do it. It can't be that bad. Just cinnamon, right? Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> I could not stop coughing. Never try this. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna show me the music video. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Yo KFC, fuck KFC. I need some chicken. 
Yo, KFC, I need some chicken, please. Yo, KFC, I need some chicken. Yo, KFC, I need some chicken. I need my chicken extra crisp, place my order. Don't forget me how many pieces you need. I had to tell the lady 50. Need my biscuit and my sausage. Don't care how much that shit costs. If you get my order wrong, I leave you licking like a false side of mac and cheese. Don't have to tell you, please. Make sure my chicken extra crunchy when it's out the grease. Got your girl on the knees, munching on chicken. Wings. She said it's too hot like it was 200 degrees Ah, KFC chicken, five piece, huh? Ooh, for 499 what? Who can beat that, nigga? Who can beat that? Nobody can, huh? Nigga! Man, that was really good. Yeah, a little too damn good. We should kill him. What? Yeah, he can't win the competition if he's dead. No, we're not gonna kill anyone over chicken. It's free chicken. How about we do something less illegal? Yeah, we should kidnap this kid and then hold this kid for ransom until he drops out of the competition. Good no, idea. we're not gonna kidnap a kid over chicken. It's not just chicken. It's 11 herbs and spices on the chicken. It's KFC. Okay, you, you see this man? This is Colonel Sanders. He's him. This is the face of a man who would kidnap another man's kid for some free chicken. Who knows what he would do for his chicken? How about we just re-record the song and make it better? Nah, that sounds boring. I think we should do the kidnapping. What do you think, Dougie? I'm down with it. Whatever we've got to do to get the chicken. See, that's the mentality I like. Yes, we should do the kidnapping. Now, I did my research. I I know he has a son and he has a wife we can kidnap, but I think we should go for the kid because it really hits you right in the heart. Well, I don't want anything to do with this. Well, me and you have to do it, Marvin, because if Dougie gets caught, he'll be disqualified and we can't have that. I'm not kidnapping a kid. It has to just be me and you, Marvin, two normal guys with mustaches. You work for KFC, they're gonna know. They're not gonna know. Come on, Marvin. Kidnapping. Chicken. Come on. Okay, fine. Yeah, come on. All right, the kid lives here. Okay, so you want to, like, go around in his window and, like, kid out of his room? No, I'm just going to ring the doorbell. Ring the doorbell? What if the parents answer and call the cops? The parents aren't going to answer. Look, only three people live here. The mom, the dad, and the kid. And who always answers the door? The kid, because the parents are too lazy. What if the kid doesn't answer the door? It's going to be the kid. Don't worry, okay? I know what I'm talking about. Hello? Shit. Oh, what do you find robbers want? Uh, uh, we were just in the neighborhood, and we were wondering if your son was home. Yeah, he's home, but what do you need him for? Uh, uh we, we are with the FRA, the Future Robbers of America, and we go around recruiting kids to be robbers, and we wanted to know if the son would be interested. You know, we could take him on a rob-along, show him the ropes. That, that's why we brought this rope. Oh, I think he'd love that. Let me go get him. Cody, there's some very nice robbers at the door to see you. What? I'm sorry, what? Robbers? Yeah, there's these two nice men in ski masks with rope and they want to talk to you. What? No, Mom, call the police. Now, Cody, everybody deserves second chances. And besides, they have a very wonderful opportunity for you. What, what are they selling crime scout cookies? No. What if they kidnap me? You're just going to end up having to call Liam Neeson. Now, Cody, I'm not going to ask you again. You go talk to those robbers or I'm taking away your bidet privileges. Okay, I'll talk to you. Uh, hello? Grab him! Grab him! Come on, guys! Ah, ah. Alright, we got him! So what do we do now? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, we're kidnapping you. Oh, okay. I, I just want to know how many I'm going to take at once. I really wish I had a chance to shower before I came here. The pizza in the school cafeteria gives me the runs, and I don't know if anybody wants to take the water slide down the sewage plant. Well, well, no, we kidnapped you so we could talk to your dad. You guys know he has a phone, right? You could have just called him. But yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Uh, give, give us his phone number so that we can call him, and then we can tell him that if he doesn't drop out of the KFC competition, we're going to kill you. Uh, okay. Marvin, grab your phone. Oh, don't say my name. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, his, his name's not actually Marvin. His, his name is Gary. Marvin's his secret name. Yeah, that's not my name. Okay, you know, I'm over here all the time. I know who owns this house, and that guy's not even wearing a mask. What, Dougie, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, well, I'm not supposed to be here. No, get out of here. And his name isn't Dougie either. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Mark. Yeah. Okay. M Marvin, get your phone. Oh, okay. Uh, not Marvin. No, no, uh, Gary. No, that's your... Okay, it's ringing. All right, kid, tell your dad we're gonna kill you if he doesn't drop out of that KFC competition. Okay. Hello? Uh, hey, Dad, I got kidnapped, and these guys say they're gonna kill me if you don't drop out of some kind of KFC competition. Well, I already got the chicken, because I won. <laughs> wait, wait hold, hold on, you already have the chicken? Yeah, they dropped it off right now! Oh, well, uh, we have your son, so if you don't give us some of that chicken, we're, we're gonna kill him. I don't care about that boy, I'll just be banging his mama! <laughs> oh, okay then. Well, sorry to bother you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Uh, well, I mean, you heard that. That dude was on speakerphone. Oh, yeah, I already knew he wasn't my dad. That's not really a surprise. Okay, well, you're gonna be cool if we just, like, let you go, right? You're not gonna tell on us? Oh, no. I'm actually into this kind of thing, so this is great for me. I I if you don't mind, I just want to stay tied up. Okay, sure. Well, we lost. So I don't get it.
to no chicken? No, we lost the competition. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to go to Popeye's? Oh, I love me some Popeye's. Yeah, Popeye's pretty good. Okay, everybody, hop on my big, long, invisible horse. Man, that was really good. Yeah, a little too good. I think we should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, man, I love me some KFC chicken, folks. It's so good, it made me want to slap my mama. Hey, Black Yoshi, I'm about to watch TV. But Mario, I was about to play the Edma. What? I was about to play the Edma. The Xbox? Yeah. Well, you can play the Xbox later. I want to watch TV. Mario, you're so green for that. Breaking news, okay? Popeyes has released a new chicken sandwich that's selling out all across America. We have Brooklyn Tea Guy on the scene to tell us what all the fuss is about. Brooklyn? Hello, I'm standing outside Popeyes where people are going bok bok bagok for their new chicken sandwich. Now they're sold out right now, but I'm standing here with Jamal who was lucky enough to get one of those chicken sandwiches before it sold out. Tell us Jamal, how is it? Oh, it good! Well you heard it here first folks, it good. Now Jamal, I, I, I notice you don't have a shirt, now why is that? Oh, I can't afford a shirt, I spent all my money on chicken. Oh, well, uh, hey, hey, we rolling? We getting this? Uh, how about I give you my shirt off my back? Oh, really? Thanks, man. I deserve it, don't it? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, just, just make sure you get this, okay? Oh, okay. Thanks, thanks so much. Yeah, there you go, kid. Now smile. All right, I just gave this poor little boy the shirt right off my back. What a nice thing for me to do, huh? Wow, thanks, mister. Yeah, back to you, Goodman. I, I look good, right? I look good? Yeah. Now give me back my shirt. Oh, what? Wow, people are really going crazy over a chicken sandwich. You see that, Black Yoshi? What? What? Black Yoshi? Breaking news! Mario, please give me the new Poopish chicken sandwich! Please! Black Yoshi, get off the TV! But Mario, I really want the Poopish chicken sandwich! Poopish? Yeah! You mean Popeyes? Yeah, Popeyes! Chicken sandwich! Well, Black Yoshi, you're not gonna get Popeyes. You already have KFC. But Mario, this KFC old! It's stale and it been sitting out. It's only been sitting out for two minutes. But more, I still don't want this. I want the poo poo. What? Yeah, the poo poo sandwich. Okay, if you want a poo poo sandwich, go to the bathroom. Mar, you know what I be talking about. You know I want the poop. But like you're not even trying now. It's called Popeyes and you're not getting it because you already have KFC. But more, I just really, 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 really be wanting the poo pie. Black Yoshi, they, you, you hear the news? They're all sold out of sandwiches. They don't have any. Well, maybe they got some in the back. Okay, well then, how about you go there and see if they have any in the back? All right, Mara, but real quick, you got five dollars? No, I don't got five dollars. Mara, I know you be having a five dollars. Okay, Black Yoshi, five dollars. Here, take the five dollars, and if they have a chicken sandwich, just buy it. Mara, you better than Abraham Lincoln, almost. <laughs> chicken sandwich. Oh, that chicken from Popeye's. What you want, baby? Oh, uh, yeah, can I get that poo poo chicken sandwich? Honey, we all out. Well, you guys got any in the bag? Nah, baby, there's none in the bag. <sighs> Why, then? Hey, daddy, can I go swim in the toilet? Did you do your chores? No. Then what's the answer? Um, A. No, D. Jimmy, it's not multiple choice. Oh. The answer is no, you cannot go swim in the toilet until you do your chores. Well, this is stupid, daddy. I don't want to do my chores. Well, Jeffy, go do your chores and then you can go have fun. Fine, Daddy. Daddy! Daddy, the vacuum's not sucking! So it's definitely not your mom! Oh! 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 Jeffy, what are you talking about? Oh! Jeffy, the vacuum cleaner's not even plugged in. Your mom is not even plugged in. Oh! Oh! Alright, Jeffy, now you're grounded after you do your chores. Well, Daddy, you wanna know what I think about your vacuum cleaner? What? No, Je Jeffy, Jeff Jeffy, you better not drop that vacuum cleaner. Oh, what's your day? What? No, 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 no. Man, I can't believe Popeyes ain't have a chicken sandwich. Jeffy! Did you hit Black Yoshi on the head? Whoops. Uh, Alright, Doctor, what's going on? Well, he's in a coma because he took a vacuum cleaner to the dome. I'm talking. Well, is he gonna be okay? Uh, what do you mean, huh? I mean, I don't know. He could be in a coma for days or even years. Years? Yeah. Well, well there's nothing you can do? Well, I got him on a chicken IV drip, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. But it's what he would have wanted. So there's nothing else you can do? Well, some people think that people in a coma can still hear us, so maybe we should just try telling them to wake up. Hey! Hey, you wake up! Wakey, wakey! Wake up! 
Yeah, he's not waking up. Oh, okay, so, so that, that's it? You're not gonna do anything else? Well, if you brought him something he really, really wanted, that might bring him out of the coma. What, bring him something he really wanted? Yeah, like, what does he really, really want? I mean, he wanted a Popeye's chicken sandwich, but I don't see how that would help. Wait, wait look, look, his heart rate sped up when you mentioned Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Wait, that's his heart rate? Yeah, yeah, he must really want a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Okay, well, I mean, they're sold out. How am I gonna get him one? Well, you better go find one. <sighs> okay, Black Yoshi, I'll, I'll, I'll try to find one. Okay, I got him one. What is this? It's a Popeye's chicken sandwich. No, it's not. Okay, look, it's a KFC chicken sandwich, but he can't tell the difference. Oh my god, he's flatlighting! Wait, what? You get this garbage chicken sandwich out of here! Well, what am I supposed to do? Get Popeye's! What, are you trying to kill the man? Well, wait, it's just KFC! He likes KFC! No, you go get Popeye's! He needs Popeye's! It's sold out! <laughs> okay! Go, go get it! Don't you die on me! Come here! Oh, man! Where am I gonna get a Popeye's chicken sandwich from? Ooh! No kidding! That Popeye's chicken sandwich was so good! Oh, Shrek, where did you get up eating? A Popeye's chicken sandwich donkey. Where'd you get it from? I got it from Popeye's, and I waited in line all day. I really had the crap donkey, but it was worth it because the sandwich was so good! Oh, well, Shrek, I ate a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Well, donkey, if you wait about 30 minutes, there'll be one floating in the toilet for you. That's, that's gross, Shrek. Why would I do that? Oh, donkey, hold on. You might not have to wait. That's what a spicy Popeye's chicken sandwich smells like. That's gross, Shrek. Oh, Donkey, it's crusting away right in my pants, Donkey. Oh, and it's kind of creamy, too. Oh. Whatever, Shrek. Oh. Hey, you get the Popeye sandwich? No, all the Popeyes are sold out, and I can't find anybody who has one. No, well, it looks like your friend's just going to have to stay in a coma. No, I'm going to get him out of this coma. Why do you need him out of the coma so bad? Because I feel like it's my fault he's in a coma, because Jeffy hit him in the head with a vacuum. Okay, well, it really sounds like it's Jeffy's fault. No, 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 if I didn't tell Jeffy to do his chores, he wouldn't have thrown the vacuum. Okay, that sounds like a bit of a stretch, but I'm not gonna tell you how to feel. Look, do you know anywhere I can get a Popeye's chicken sandwich tonight? Well, all the Popeyes are closed. It's late. You just have to wait till tomorrow. I'm not gonna do this tomorrow. I'm gonna do it tonight. What, but are you busy tomorrow? Uh, is your tomorrow so busy you don't have time to go to Popeye's? Oh, no, I just wanna get this done tonight because I just, I just can't stop thinking about it. Look, 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 look. There has to be a way to get a Popeye's chicken sandwich tonight. Like, eBay. With eBay? Yeah, I can buy one on eBay and get it shipped here. You're gonna buy an eBay chicken sandwich? Yeah, hold on. Let me get my laptop. All right, let's find us a chicken sandwich. Oh, look, there's one. $5,000 for a chicken sandwich? Well, well, this one's spicy. Oh, okay, that's why it's so expensive. Well, it takes a week to get here. A week? What, are they going to mail you an envelope with a chicken sandwich in it? And it takes a week to get here? It's going to be all moldy by the time it arrives. I really need this. Can I borrow $5,000? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me go get my wallet. No, obviously not. Well, but it's going to save his life. Look, I really don't care that much. Look, I really need a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Okay, look, I, I know a guy who's good at getting things. Things that aren't gettable. What? Yeah, just just go outside and stand under a street lamp. Which 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 one? It, it doesn't matter. He'll find you. Okay. Uh, wait wait wait. Uh, uh bring five dollars. Five dollars? Yeah. All right. And actually actually bring a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Yeah, he, he needs a hundred dollars. Uh, okay. <sighs> Where's this guy at? What? Hey, you get the hundred dollars? Uh, yeah. Sucker! Hey! 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 Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. Uh, who are you? I heard you were looking for a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Yeah, I'm looking for a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Do you have one? Shh, be quiet. People are listening. Uh, oh, do you have one? All right. I know where you can get a Popeye's chicken sandwich, but it won't be easy. Well, how are you going to give me a Popeye's chicken sandwich? It's midnight. All the Popeye's are closed. Well, I saw a guy buy one earlier, and I followed him home. And I know he hasn't eaten it yet. He's keeping it in his microwave. Oh, 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 how do we get it? All right, we're gonna break into his house. And we're gonna steal that sandwich so you can give it to your friend. Uh, break into his house? That's illegal. Well, we're doing it. Well, okay. Well, what do you want out of it? Uh, hundred dollars. Hundred dollars? I just gave the other guy hundred dollars for no reason. Yeah, I saw that. You got biffed. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll give you a hundred dollars after we get the sandwich. All right, deal. But we should probably get walking. It's a pretty long walk. Well, I have a car. We can just drive. No, no, it draws too much attention. We gotta walk. Come on. <sighs> Uh, all right, this is the house. Oh, man, that was a long walk. Yeah, we're going to have to walk all the way back, too. Okay, so what's the plan? All right, we're going to go up to the door, and we're going to knock on it. And then when he answers, we're going to ask him really, really nicely for the chicken sandwich. He's not going to give it to us. Well, you never know until we try. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's ask. Oh, man, I sure hope this works. I'm really nervous. Hey, who is that at the door? Nobody knows it's midnight. Hello? Uh, uh, hello there, my chocolate friend. 
my chocolate friend. I'm sorry, I, I, I was nervous and I just, I, I choked. Yeah, obviously. Okay, let's try this again. Look, what do y'all want? Are y'all gingerbread witnesses? Look, I don't want any cookies, okay? No, 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 no sir, I, I'm sorry about my friend here. He, he doesn't get out much. Oh, I can see. Uh, look, we know you have a Popeye's chicken sandwich in your microwave and we want it. How do you know I got a chicken sandwich in my microwave? You went for the cup of me? No, 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 we homie, dog. Home slice of pie. Stop. What? Just stop. No, don't. We, we cool? No, this is embarrassing. Uh, oh, okay, look, can, can, can we just please have the chicken sandwich? No, I'm not giving you my chicken sandwich. I waited in at Popeye's line for three hours. So you think I'm just gonna hand my chicken sandwich up to some entitled white man? No, no way. So have a good day, sir. <laughs> my slice of pie. Oh, look, 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 I was nervous. Look, look, what are we gonna do? I need that chicken sandwich. All right, uh, I'm gonna call my friend Chester the chicken. Wait, Chester the chicken? All right, Mario, this is my friend Chester the Chicken. Hello, I am Chester Chicken. How may I be of assist? Well, hello, Mr. Chester, dog, homie, no, friend. No, no, stop. Let me do the talking this time. Uh, sorry, Chester, I hope we didn't bother you. Oh, no problem. I was just at home choking myself. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> hey, choke chicken? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Uh, look, Chester, we need your help stealing a chicken sandwich. Oh, you call on Chester Chicken to steal crispy body of one of my own kind? You spit on me like pee, 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 pee. Yeah, look, uh, Chester, can you help us or not? Uh, what's in it for Chester Chicken? Um, I'll give you 50 bucks. Hmm, 50 bucks for Chester Chicken? Yeah. Hmm, you got yourself a deal. Okay, uh, I need you to distract the owner of the house while we steal the sandwich. All right, seems simple enough. I do it. Bagak, bagak. Is that a chicken? Oh my god, it's a chicken at my door. I'm gonna cook it and eat it. Oh, come here, chicken. Come out. All right, he left the door open. Let's go inside and get that sandwich. There it is, in all its glory. All right, grab it and let's go. All right. All right, I got one. I got a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Yeah, now that's a chicken sandwich. How'd you get it? I had to break into a guy's house to get it. Oh, well, I'm actually a cop, so I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Well, let's see if it wakes Black Yoshi up. Black Yoshi, look what I got, a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Oh, is that a poopish chicken sandwich? Oh, it is. Oh, this is so good. Oh, it smells so good, Mario. Wow, that coma went away really quick. Yeah, Black Yoshi, that coma went away a little too quick. I know, the poo poo done killed my coma. Are you sure you weren't faking your coma, Black Yoshi? No, Mario, my hair was hurting really, really so bad. And then the chicken sandwich just saved me. I'm gonna go eat my chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for nothing, doctor. No, thank you. <sighs> commercial holiday. It's supposed to be about Jesus, not bunnies and eggs. So I'm not going to really celebrate it. Easter? Look what you started. Yes, Jeffy, today's Easter. What's that? Well, it's supposed to be the day Jesus resurrected, but instead, it's about a bunny going around laying eggs. What? Bunnies don't lay eggs. I know, Jeffy, they don't lay eggs. Just go back to putting shapes in your thing. All right. Mario, wouldn't it be awesome if we celebrated Easter with Jeffy? No. Come on. 
on, Mario. It's our first Easter with them. Wait, wait, don't, don't say it like that. Don't say it like this is going to happen all the time. First Easter? We shouldn't even be at Easter. We, we shouldn't even have him. Mario, that's terrible. Oh, okay, fine. If you want to celebrate Easter with that, then then, then we can. Just, just, what do you want to do first? Uh, let's paint eggs. Let's paint eggs, then go, go get the paint ready. All right. And, and I'll, get, I'll get Jeffy. <sighs> Jeffy, come on. Jeffy, come on. Jeffy. No, no, no. Jeffy, stop it. All right, Jeffy, are you ready to paint eggs? Here's your paintbrush. Paint eggs? Yes, that's right, paint eggs. Why are you going to do that? Well, you see, look, look, I painted this egg with a Yoshi egg. It's decorating. You don't paint eggs. You gotta eat the egg. Y yes, you can eat eggs, but you can also paint them for Easter. Eggs come from a chicken. That's right. Wait. Wait. painting my egg. Uh, did, did you hear Jeffy? He sounds like a chicken. What? He sounds like a chicken. Did you, did you see him? He sounds like a chicken. I, I don't know. He sounds like a, You didn't hear that loud chicken noise? No, Mario. I Jeffy can sound like a chicken. Mario, look, my egg's yellow. That's and it's sparkly like a star. That, 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 that's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, Jeffy, did you paint your egg yet? I finished my painting. What? Jeffy, why you put why you put the paintbrush in your nose? Why? <laughs> Let me see what you painted. Jeffy! Why? You, you painted the Mona Lisa on your egg? Who's that? You told me you painted it! Oh. That's a famous painting! How'd you do that? With my paintbrush. Rosalina! He, 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 he just painted it. Jeffy just painted it. Jeffy, Jeffy, Jeffy just painted the Mona Lisa on his egg. What? Come, come look, come look, come look! He, 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 he painted the Mona Lisa on his egg! No. See? Was he? What, Je Jeffy! Jeffy! No, no, Jeffy! Jeffy! Jeffy, stop it! Jeffy! Oh, me egg! We could have sold that for millions of dollars! Jeffy! Can, can, can you do it again? Can you do it again? If I, if I give you an egg, can, can you do it again? Do one again. Uh, paint, 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 paint the Mona Lisa. Who's that? The, the, the one you just painted. Do it again. Jeffy? Jeffy, please. Jeffy, please. Jeffy, please. Oh. All right, Jeffy. Since you made a mess painting eggs, I guess we can do the Easter egg hunt. Why? Because that's what you do on Easter, Jeffy. Why? Look, you just take this basket and you look for all the hidden eggs around the apartment. Why would you hide the egg? Uh, I didn't hide them. The Easter Bunny did. The Easter Bunny? The Easter Bunny. Why would he hide the egg? I don't want to see the Easter Bunny. Where is he at? You can't see the Easter Bunny. Why? He's busy. He's your bunny. Why is he doing? He, he's just busy. He, he went back to Easter Bunnyville. Easter Bunnyville? Easter Bunny. Where is that? It's, uh, I don't know, Jeffy. Why? I don't know, Jeffy. Just, just look at it. What? Look, I found that golden egg. Where do you want to hide it? Oh, oh thank God, baby. Okay, look, uh, hold on a second. Uh, Jeffy, you know what this is? No, Jeffy, Jeffy, no more chicken. No more chicken. Why? You know what this is? This is the golden egg. Golden egg? I want to touch it. You can't touch it. Why? I'm going to go hide it. And if you find the golden egg, you get to, uh... Uh, meet the Easter Bunny. Meet the Easter Bunny? I don't want to meet the Easter Bunny. Put me to meet the Easter Bunny. You, you will get to meet him. If Why? You, if you find the golden egg. So look, look, you go look for all the eggs around the apartment while I hide this one, okay? Where are you going to hide it? I'm going to hide it uh, outside, somewhere far away, okay? Why? Be 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 because it's so... It's such That's going to make it hard for me to find it. It's going to make it hard. It's supposed to be hard to find. So look, Why? I'm going to go hide the golden egg, and if you find it, you get to meet the Easter Bunny, okay? Rosalina, give him his basket. Okay. Okay, I'm about to take this egg far, far away so Jeffy will never find it. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm on a bridge. All right. Yeah, let's see Jeffy find that. Ooh, look, Jeffy, a pink egg right in front of you. Where? It's right there, Jeffy. Where? I don't see it. Jeffy, it's literally right in front of you. <gasps> okay, baby, I just went and hit the golden egg so far away when Jeffy goes to look for it, we'll never see him again, ever again. Mario! Just calm down, baby. All right, Jeffy, are you ready to look for the golden egg? Yeah, I'm ready to look for it. Where's that? I went and hit it outside somewhere really far away. Is this it? Jeffy! What? Where'd you find that? No more chicken! Oh my god! Rosalina, I literally went through that off a bridge. How'd he find it? Mario, that's terrible! Oh, 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 How could you do that? I just, I, I, I want to get rid of him. Okay, oh, okay Jeffy, I, 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 you found the golden egg, so, uh... So that means I get to see the eat the bunny now? Uh, no, you don't get to see it. Mario! Fine! I'm dressed up like Easter Bunny! Okay. <gasps> Mario, you look so cute! Don't, don't say that, you're not saying that.
say that. Can I take a picture? No! I cannot take a picture. I just want to get this over with. Don't forget to hop. Okay. Mr. Easter Bunny! Hey, Mr. Easter Bunny, where are you going? Yep, I'm the Easter Bunny. Now, what do you want? Mario! Uh, I mean, I hope there's a good boy that found the golden egg. No, it's me, though. It's me. I'm the good boy that found the golden egg. Wow. So, so what do you want? I want to know why you hide all the eggs, Mr. Easter Bunny. <laughs> I, I don't know why I hide them. I don't, I don't know why I hide them. But you the one that hides them, so you gotta know why you do it. Well, I, 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 I hide them because I don't like eggs. I, I, don't, I don't like You a... don't like eggs? You don't like chickens? <laughs> Jeffy, stop doing that! Ooh, the Easter Bunny knows my name! I'm, I'm Jeffy, Mr. Easter Bunny! Yeah, I know everyone's names. I have a big book with the naughty or nice list. That's Jay Claude. <laughs> Jeffy, uh, what do you want? I just want to know why you hide the egg! I don't know why I hide the eggs! Daddy? What? what? You're the Easter Bunny? No, no, I'm not your dad, and I'm not the Easter Bunny. But, but do you want to do hide the egg? I just want to know why you hide the egg. You must not like chickens. I'm done. I'm so done. I'm so, I'm so done. School's great. You get to be around your friends and learn new things. These are the best years of our lives. Jeffy hit him. Well, the bus is coming. Hopefully it runs you over. Yeah. Darn. It didn't hit you, Cody. Maybe next time, dude. Let's get on the bus. Oh, look, a quarter. Hey, I got a quarter. Ow, ow. Hey, my arm's down the door. Open the door. Open the door. All right. Is everyone on the bus? Uh, yeah. I don't think we're missing anybody. Where's Cody? I think he's sick. All right. You guys hear that screaming? You hear too? Oh, I always hear a voice in my head screaming, kill everybody! I thought it was just me. I think it's coming from outside. What? Cody? What are you doing outside the bus? You're supposed to ride inside it. Cody, I tell him to stop the bus! Okay, I'll tell him to stop. Hey, stop the bus! I'm not stopping the bus. We gotta go to school. You're dragging Cody! I'm not dragging anything. Go back to your seat! She doesn't have to cook tonight. Hold on, Crash, let me go pick up my dinner. Is it cat? Is it dog? I hope it's cat. Oh, I am so <sighs> Man, kid, you're lucky to be alive. You get hit by a bus. Most people don't survive that. But you did, and I I think that's just me. Hey, Cody. Hey, dude. Mm, thanks for coming, guys. Ow, never mind. It was a fly. It wanted to bite you. Yeah, that fly was really going to hurt me. How you feeling, Cody? Oh, I feel just peachy, Junior. Feel like I got run over by a bus. Oh, I know what you're talking about. When I have the flu, I feel just like that. Right? But I actually did get run over by a bus. We know, Cody. Stop bragging about it. Stop being dramatic. Yeah, you make it your whole identity. Ooh, I was the guy that ran over by a bus. We know. Guys, my life sucks. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, Junior. I got hit by a bus. What would you rather got hit by? A train or a bus? Ooh, should be good, Well, I guess if I got hit by a train, I would have died. See, look, you got hit by what you wanted. What? Well, I didn't choose this. Yes, you did. I said a bus or a train. You chose a bus. Ugh, Junior, Junior, if I get moved, I hit you. Cody, tell your friends to leave. It's time to insert your catheter. No, I want them to watch. What's a catheter? It's a needle that goes in the pee hole. Ew! Yeah, it is. And I want the man to do it. It's hot. Um, you know what? Actually, on second thought, you don't even need a catheter. You're, you're ready to be discharged. You can go home now. I can't believe you were hit by that bus. You know, if you were to sue the school, you'd make a lot. Money. But, but yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. I'm gonna sue this school. Ow, Junior, why? But there's a fly. What? How many flies are there in this goddamn hospital? Wait, you said you're gonna sue the school? Yes, I'm gonna sue the school because they own the school bus. Now I'm gonna sue. Okay, yeah. Yes, drag me. Ow. Oh, the fly. Ow, ow, ow. It flies. Yeah, just put me down, gentle. So, Cody, how much money are you going to sue the for? I was thinking five million dollars. Five million dollars?! You're asking for a lot, dude! That's a lot of gravy! Yeah, well, my insides are rich potatoes from where the bus ran me on. Besides, I need that money for my pain and suffering, and I didn't even get my catheter, so what's the point? Aren't you just happy to be alive? No, I want money! Cody, let's play basketball. I bet you'll feel better after that. I can't. Why, because I'll beat you, huh? But huh? No. Go ahead and say it! No, Admit it! It's because I'm in a full body cast and I can't move! Well, you guys, if you need me, I'm going to be on the basketball court talking. I think you're just scared, Cody. Junior! 
There's someone at the door! Can, can you go get it? Junior, I'm in a full body cast! But I have an ingrown toenail and it hurts! Junior! Okay, fine, I'll get it! Hello? Is Cody here? Yeah, his tracker isn't working! We put a tracker in his booty and it went offline a few hours ago. And we paid good money for that tracker, so tell me where our son is! If he took that tracker out, I'm gonna be one mad mama bear. You know what? I think it's pretty racist that they call black bears black bears because the color of their fur. And they call white bears polar bears. We should sign a petition to be called polar bears cracker barrels! I think there's a restaurant called that. No, that's cracker barrel, baby! Oh. And that's pretty racist too! I think we need a black barrel! Well, Cody's upstairs. Well, we're coming in. Yeah! Here's Cody. Oh my god, Cody, my baby, what happened to you? You bet I ain't got beat up by no girl. Because if you did, I'm going to laugh at you. Ha! No, I got run over by a bus. Oh my god, Cody, I told you those cartoons were dangerous. That Miss Frizzle and her magic school bus are a bad influence. Why didn't you look both ways before crossing the street? You know you're supposed to be like the chicken that crossed the road. I did look both ways. I just got caught in the door of the bus, then it dragged me around for a while before running me over. Excuses, excuses. Cody said he's gonna sue the school for five million dollars. You what now? Baby, I didn't know you gave birth to a cow. A cash cow! <laughs> well, I mean, she's a big fat cow, so obviously she'd give birth to a cow. Cody, we're gonna sue the school, and then we're gonna take this to the news, and you're gonna buy mommy some new cans. And I'm gonna get unsnipped. You're gonna have a little brother. Hey, <laughs> come on, Cody, let's go get you the best lawyer we can. So I reviewed your case. So what do you think? What do I think? I'll tell you. You might hold this for me for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. Thank you. I think it's gonna be a slam dunk! Oh, you guys are about to get paid! I'm gonna win no matter what! I can go into the courtroom with my wiener in my hand and I'd still win. Please do. You know what? I think I'm right. Order, 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 order! I am the Honorable Judge Boomer! And today we will be hearing the case of Cody Natchkiss versus the OIU Dumb Elementary School. Cody is suing the school for five million dollars for running him over with a school bus. Plaintiff, proceed with your proceedings. Thank you, you all. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, imagine this. Your son just got done eating breakfast and he waves goodbye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I'm on my way to school. He walks out the door and walks to the bus stop. He finally gets there and he's waiting for the bus to go and out of nowhere, BAM! He gets hit by a bus, and he's left on the side of the road to die. Look, he looks like a mummy, and he was left on the side of the road crying for his mother. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. A very sad story indeed. Defendant, how do you defend your actions? Oh, it's my turn. Okay, man, don't worry. I'm gonna win this case in my opening statement. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, my client is clearly Chinese. A simple eye test will show that. And being Chinese, he's, you know, unfamiliar with American traffic laws. But, you know, Chinese, Japanese, dirty memes, look at these, we're all human. We all make mistakes. You know, so what if he does make joke and pee-pee in your coat? I think he still deserves a second chance at the American dream. I respect him. I see. Plaintiff! How do you respond? Guilty. We're not at that part yet. How do you respond to what he said? Oh, well, here is a photograph of my client before he was hit by a bus. Just look at him. A normal, ugly looking child. And now look at him! A hideous freak of nature! Unrecognizable! Looking like that, he will never get married and he'll never have a job. But five million dollars will make him very rich, because women love money. I'm gay. Men love money too. That's all I have to say. I agree, we all love money. Defendant? Defend? Oh yeah, well I can use pictures too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the court, can you tell me what this is? Oh, those are egg rolls! That's right, these are egg rolls. And this is what my client ate on the day he ran over the kid. Now, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me what ingredients are in egg rolls? Hmm? Anybody? Well, neither can I. So how do we know that the ingredients of this egg roll did not cause my client to not realize that he was dragging a kid on his school bus for miles while he yelled for help and then run him over? Hmm? We don't know that. Which is why I think we should be investigating the egg roll company, huh? H how do we know the egg roll company doesn't have some kind of chemical in there that, that, that causes memory loss that could have caused this to happen, hmm? Actually, my wife Ring Ring made the egg roll from scratch. 
Okay, well, his wife made the egg rolls, but I think we should investigate his wife. H how do we know this wasn't intentional? Maybe she took out an insurance policy on him and was hoping he crashed his bus. Hmm, I think we should look into that. So suck it. Suck it, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, very good points. Hmm. Plaintiff, hmm, continue with your plaintiffing. Your Honor, my client is suffering from irreversible physical and psychological damage. He is afraid of school buses, something I like to call school bus phobia. Allow me to demonstrate. See, he screamed at the very top of his lungs at the sight of a school bus, something that is supposed to carry him safely to and from school. How is my client supposed to get quality education if he's afraid of school buses? Sweat and bullets. I, uh, I didn't print out any other pictures, but uh, hey, can I borrow that picture of that bus? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see this bus? This is not a picture of the bus that ran over the plaintiff. This is a stock photo of a bus. So why would he scream at a stock photo? He should only scream at a picture of the real bus. So I think he's faking it. I think he doesn't have any injuries. I, I mean, obviously he has physical injuries, but I think he doesn't have any psychological injuries. You know, I knew somebody who got run over by a bus, and he didn't bitch about it this much. I, I mean, he died, but, Your Honor, I object on the grounds that the plaintiff is being a little bitch about this whole thing. He should just be happy he's alive. I agree. He is lucky to be alive. Plaintiff, it is your gift to paint. Your Honor, I would like to call a witness. It's one of Cody's friends who was there that day and saw the whole thing. Junior, do you mind coming up here, please? What do I do? Could you just tell us everything that happened the day that Cody was hit by a bus? Yeah, so we were all getting on the bus, and Cody thought it would be cute to like ride under the bus and hang onto it like a monkey. Well, no, I didn't. I got stuck in the door. Well, look, all I saw is when I looked out the window, he was hanging onto the bus screaming, Wee, look at me. Well, no, I was saying, help me stop the bus. Well, he talked about this for weeks before he did it. I object to my own witness. Get the hell out of here. Why didn't we even call him in here? I don't know. I thought he was my friend. Hmm. How incriminating. Defendant. Do your thing. No, 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 no. Ho hold on. I want his witness. I want to talk to you. What's up? Well, you said he did all this on purpose? I mean, he had to. Why else would he be underneath the bus while it was moving? I mean, he had plenty of time to get on and we all got on. No, I was picking up a quarter I found on the ground and my arm got caught in the door. Aha! He was bending over to pick up a quarter off the ground. This just shows that he was in it for the money all along. Who even bends over to pick up a quarter, huh? Who even uses quarters? They're worthless. This shows he was so desperate for money, and that's why he's asking for such an egregious amount. I also asked him would he rather get hit by a train or a bus, and he chose bus. Aha! Uh -huh. He chose this. My client was simply doing what he was asked to do. Mmm, this is getting juicy. Plaintiff, I can't wait to hear your response. Your Honor, are you really going to believe this crap? No one really wants to be hit by a bus. Let's look at the facts here. My client was hit by a bus, and the driver was Chinese. I would like to call in one more witness to the case. The client's mother. Judy, do you mind coming up here, please? Oh, the judge is hot. Like, listen to me, Buckets. You are Cody Buckets' mother, correct? I think so. After he was born and they took him to the nursery, all the babies fell over and there was just a big pile of babies. And they said, take one and go home. So I did. But I'm pretty sure he's mine. Okay. Now, as Cody's mother, is this what you wanted for your child? To be brutally struck down in the street by a bus? Oh, no. I thought it would always be way cooler if he died in a plane crash. Then there'd be a whole news article about it. See, Your Honor, not what the client's mother wanted. That junk is really hot. Can I go home with you? <laughs> Motion granted. Yes, Dad. <laughs> well, um, Cody wins. <laughs> yes, yes, I won. I got five million dollars. I did it. I did it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, man. I tried. Oh, it's okay. You want to come back to my house? My wife's making egg rolls. Hell yeah. So I won your court case. You are the best lawyer ever. I know. Well, technically, my mom won the case because she slept with the judge. As she should. He's a very beautiful man. Well, the good news is the $5 million has already cleared my bank account. And after removing necessary court fees and my attorney fees, this is what you're left with. 
with the corner. Wait, we're supposed to get millions. Well, let me break it down for you. So my consultation fee is two million dollars. My attorney retainer fee is one million dollars, and my court fees are another two million dollars. So that ate up your five million dollars. You should be lucky you're even getting this quarter. But I get hit by a bus. Well, you also got hit with court fees. Hey, do you mind holding this up for me again? Oh, uh, sure. Swish. So guys, what do you want to do today? Ooh, I know. We should go to the arcade and play games. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah, dude. Does anyone have any quarters? No, dude, I'm poor. I swallowed one a week ago, and I've been digging in my boot trying to find it, and I haven't found it yet. Uh, I think I have some. Let's see. Uh, I have four quarters, two nickels, and a penny. What is a penny? Uh, who even uses pennies anymore? Hey, dude, you know if you throw a penny from the top of the Empire State Building, you could kill someone? No. -uh. Yeah, dude. No, it's true. The momentum from the penny is like a bullet. Let's try it. Well, yeah, that'd be so cool. We should try it. Yeah. But guys, we'd have to go to New York City. Why do we have to go to New York City? Because that's where the Empire State Building is. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Look, I don't know my structures and geography and stuff. Look, look, look. How about we just use this money to buy our plane tickets to go to New York City? But Gene, this isn't 1950. You can't buy plane tickets for 25 cents. Well, let's ask Chef Peavy to buy his plane tickets to New York City. I highly doubt Chef Peavy's going to be willing to pay for all of us to go to New York City. Well, we might as well go ask him. Man, oh man, I'm so excited. Hawaii, here I come! Hey, Chef Pee-Pee. No, not right now, Junior. I'm packing my bags for Hawaii. How can you afford to go to Hawaii? <laughs> Check this out. I sold one of my kidneys for $5,000. Why would you sell one of your kidneys? You have two kidneys, Junior, and I don't need this one, so I sold it. For, for $5,000? Yeah, so I'm going to pack my bags for Hawaii. <laughs> it's going to be a blast. Now, all I need is my money. <gasps> Wait, where's my money? I need my money! It was right here! Where is it? See, Cody, I told you Shaggy B was going to pay for us to go to New York City. We stole his money. I would say we borrowed it. Well, do you intend on giving it back? No. Then we stole it. Listen, Cody, when Chef B finds out why we're going to New York City, he's going to know it's for a good cause. It's not for a good cause. We might kill somebody. In the name of science. It's a science experiment, Cody. Yeah, I'm going to go to the top of the Empire State Building and throw a penny off and see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Junior! Hey, Chef B, what's up? Have you seen my money? Oh, oh, the money that was on the kitchen counter? Yes! Uh, no, I, I haven't seen it. Well, I, I need my money. I'm trying to go on a trip to Hawaii. Oh, well, listen, I, I just, I don't know where your money is. Wait, wait, why are you laying down like that? Uh, because my back hurts, man. I'm tired. Well, go get up! Uh, I, I can't get up because, uh... Because me and Junior were about to make out. What? what? Yeah, yeah, we were. And I haven't brushed my teeth in over a week. I'm not getting up. Well, then you might as well stand up, then. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, Cody, kiss me. Yeah. Ew, gross! <laughs> Ew, Cody, why would you do that? <laughs> Junior, I'm not going to miss an opportunity to smooch you. Oh, wait, listen. Let's take this money and let's go to New York City so we can go to the Empire State Building. Do it, Jeffy, do it! All right! Yeah. Ow! Hey! Uh oh Hey, did you just throw a penny off this? It was here, it was here! You're going to jail. Oh. Marvin, have you heard from Jeffy? No, he's probably in his room. Who's texting me? Jeffy just said he threw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building and hit someone! What?! Hey there! Oh, officer, what's going on? Well, your son just threw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building and hit someone. Jeffy, why would you do that? They don't want you to see if you would kill someone! Don't say that, brother, officer! Do it! I already heard it. Your son's being charged with involuntary attempted manslaughter. Is he going to jail? Well, probably. But the guy didn't die. Oh, he is suing Jeffy for the boo-boo he sustained. Marvin, we have to get a lawyer! You can't hire a good boy if we don't have the money! How about a bad one? I'm a lawyer, not a very good one, but I'm cheap. How much do you charge? What do you got? Uh, we don't really have anything. Hmm, okay, I'll tell you what. If I win, you take me out to Applebee's and you let me buy whatever I want. Applebee's? Yep. Uh, okay, deal. Yes! Suckers! Come on, Jeffy, let's go to court. Order, 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 order. I am God Boober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy Jeffy versus Booby. No relation to me whatsoever. Jeffy Jeffy is accused of involuntary attempted manslaughter, and Pooby is suing him for one million dollars in personal harm. Prosecution, proceed the prosecution exam. Your Honor, my client? Looking good, Pooby. <laughs> yes. Continue. <laughs> Your Honor, my client Ruby was innocently walking down a New York City street when all of a sudden, BAM! Abraham Lincoln, in coin form, fell from the sky and plucked my client right in the noggin. Right there is where he got hit. 
Now, Poopy, tell me, what were your thoughts when that happened? I know it might be hard to remember, considering that the coin has caused me to loss. Well, I was really just wondering who threw that penny. Did you think that I did not. They were on top of the Empire State Building. Do you mind pointing to the people who may have done this to you? Or over here to the Aha! Guilty! I'm sorry, I didn't hear a single word you said. I was too distracted by that ghastly wound on his head. Could you cover it up with a bandage or something? Can someone pass me some damn band-aids, please? Can you pass me some band-aids? Okay. Ah! You see that? We have the throwing problem! Guilty! But no, your client just needs to learn how to catch. Sure. Thank you. Such a beautiful sight to see. Continue! Your Honor, my client is suffering from severe headaches and migraines ever since the penny struck him in the head. He is now blind in his left eye. Close your eyes. Because the penny hit him right here so hard that he lost the vision in his left eye. Also, women won't even go on dates with him because of that hideous scar in his head. I tell him that I got in a fight with a bear, but they we think Jeffy intentionally threw the penny at my client to cause these damages. Very persuasive prosecutor, defense attorney. You better have a very good reason why I should not bang my gavel and call your client guilty this very instance. No! Your Honor, my client is just a curious little 17-year-old child who heard a rumor that if you throw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building, it'll kill someone. Now, what child do you know that wouldn't jump at the chance to commit manslaughter in the name of science? I know my daughter certainly would. So, you're saying he did it thinking he would kill someone? That's premeditated! I know what up the charges to premeditated attempted manslaughter instead of involuntary manslaughter. No, 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 no. Your Honor, my client was simply trying to bust the myth that a penny could kill someone if thrown from the top of the Empire State Building, which he obviously did bust it because the penny hit that man and he didn't die. So, Jeffy just busted the myth. That makes him a myth buster. Now, should myth busters go to jail? No, they should get their own show called Myth Busters. Mm, yes, I do like that show. Prosecutor, how do you feel about the television show Myth Busters? Isn't it quite entertaining? It's, it's okay. Your Honor, I have proof that Jeffy was not trying to bust a myth. He was intentionally trying to hit someone with a penny. Right here is a screenshot that I have taken from Jeffy's phone. It is a conversation between him and his friend Junior. I will now read the conversation. Jeffy says, I can't wait to throw the penny off the Empire State Building. Junior then says, yeah, it's going to be so cool. Eggplant emoji. Jeffy then says, I hope we nail some fool with it. My client being that fool. Then Junior says, yeah, he will be in so much pain. Black Santa Claus. Jeffy then says, bumpin' noggins, two money bag emojis. Your Honor, I think my client deserves two money bag emojis for his pains. Defense attorney, what I am seeing is very troubling for your case. You'd better defend your little ass off. Ooh, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't look good. But I have this! This is a picture of the Empire State Building. Now I have a question. How many people visit the Empire State Building every day? Hundreds? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? Well, probably not that many, but a lot of people do. And how many of those people throw pennies from the top of the Empire State Building? At least a few. So how do we know that penny that hit your client belonged to Jeffy and not Steve or Bob? or someone we don't know. I happen to know Bob and Steve, and they would never do such a thing, but many people will. So prove to me that that penny was thrown by Jeffy. Mm, that is true. I have thrown many a penny in my day. Prosecutor, cute the process. Your Honor, I have just the evidence we need to close this case. I've taken more screenshots from Jeffy's phone. These are text messages between Jeffy and his dad. Jeffy says, Hey, Daddy, I threw a penny off the Empire State Building and hit someone. He admitted that he hit someone. Jeffy's dad then says, No, you didn't, Jeffy. Were you trying to hit the guy? 
Then Jeffy says, Will I be grounded if I say yes? Then Jeffy's dad replies, Yes! And then Jeffy says, Yes, with a skull in it. <gasps> Defense attorney, it looks like you've been backed into a corner. How will you get out? Well, I think maybe my client needs to stop sending text messages. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to take a picture of the guy so I can tell it to my daddy and tell him this is the guy I was trying to hit with the pin. Give me that. Uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, my, my client would like to uh, plead insanity. That's it. He's insane. Didn't know what he was doing. Uh, insane in the membrane. You heard that song? Uh, 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 no, I, I, I got it. Uh, well, we haven't heard from the penny in all of this. Jeffy threw the penny, but how do we know that the penny didn't choose to hit that man? It, it could have hit anybody, so why did it pick him? I think we should be talking to the Penny. Let's call the Penny in here. Hmm, yes, good point. Where is the Penny that was used in the assault? It's right here, Your Honor. You see that? My client's scared of pennies and shit. But I don't know why you want to talk to the Penny. The Penny doesn't talk. It's sitting here, not doing anything. Doesn't have a mind of its own. Can't make decisions. But who's on the Penny? Honest Abe. He can't tell a lie. And he's under oath. That's double the truth telling. Your Honor, I want to question that Penny. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. You're not actually going to entertain this, are you? Hmm. I want to see where this goes. Prosecutor, hand him the Penny. Here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask this Penny a few questions. Now, Penny, did Jeffy throw you from the top of the Empire State Building to try to hit that guy? Yeah. Shut the hell up, Abe! I just lie. I can't! Not when I'm holding the Penny! The power of Abe compels me! All right, I've seen enough of this nonsense. Jeffy is guilty! Yes! We won! We won! We're going to be able to fix your head and your vision! Woo! Uh, think fast. Ow! Oh! How do you think the court case is going? Well, hopefully that lawyer's doing his job. Hey, hey, we won the case, so let's go to Applebee's. Come on, hurry up, let's go right now. Wait, really? wait, we won? Yeah, we did. They dropped all the charges, so get your ass in the car. Let's go to Applebee's. Well, I, I have questions. Okay, we can talk about it at Applebee's. Let's go. Ooh, I want the chicken wonton tacos. Yes, me too, so let's go. Let's go to Applebee's right now. But, but I have so many questions. Yeah, that's okay. We can talk about it over a plate of mozzarella sticks at Applebee's, so come on. Marvin, we can turn on the news real quick. No, 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 we don't need to do that because Applebee's has TV, so come on, let's go right now. Why are you in a rush to go to Applebee's? Because I want to get there before they close. It's only six o'clock at night. Yeah, but this this is Applebee's. They got the dinner rush. I, I want to make sure I get a good table. I, I have a special spot. So come on, let's go. Let's go right now. Come on, chop, chop. Let's okay. go. Okay. Oh, man. I am eating good in the neighborhood. Thanks for the Applebee's, man. I mean, you deserve it for winning the case. What are you talking about? I lost. Oh, oh, oh the case. Yes, I, I did win that. I, hey, hey, cheers for me winning the case. <laughs> and, and waitress, could you refill my cup, please? This is empty. I thought we lost. But shut the hell up and eat your chicken fingers. Ooh, I can't wait to eat my chicken wonton tacos. No, 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 just slow down there, fatty. Maybe eat your salad instead. I might want some tacos. You can't eat all this food. Oh, yes, I can. A good lawyer is a hungry lawyer. That's what my mom wants. Said. Look, the news is on! No, no, don't pay attention to that. Hey, hey, look at this artichoke dip, huh? It's, they are really being cheap. Hey, can we refill the goddamn bowl, please? You know? <laughs> Wait, the news is on. No, 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 don't worry about that. Just look at my steak. What's up with this steak? Huh? It's like a hockey puck. It's so overcooked. Breaking news, okay? I want a court case where a man got hit in the head by a penny that was thrown from the top of the Empire State Building. We have an exclusive interview with the man now. So, sir, now that you've won your lawsuit, what are you going to do with all that money? Well, I'm terrified of pennies now, but I melted that penny down and turned it into the lenses on these sunglasses. Hmm. And, with the leftover copper, I turned that bitch into a car. You turned it into a car? Yup. Suck it, pennies. <laughs> Ow! Curse you, pennies! What? You lost! No, oh, come on, that's that, that, that. Somebody, somebody should report that before reporting fake news. Oh man, I do have to use the bathroom though. Oh man, my stomach has just been hurting me all day long. I had that whole drink earlier, so... And by the way, can I get a refill for that, please? Thank you. You know what, so I, I think I'm just gonna use the bathroom just real quick. Hey, are you gonna eat that burger? Yes. No, you're not. That, just thank you. And then, uh, you know, I'll be back in about 15 minutes or so. But you got the bill, right? You're paying for this? What? Yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. What? Be careful with that. It's extremely dangerous. He's lighting it, lighting it. Hit the dirt! Ah!